Happy Friday and welcome to Getting Baked with Crystal, where tonight we're not actually going to bake anything. <laughs> tonight I am starting my super holiday baking weekend where I make a million cookies and treats and deliciousness to hand out to all of my friends and family. And some of you guys are getting some of these. Is it like your Super Bowl of baking? It really is. It's kind of blown out lighting wise back here, but you can see this counter is all here. of my baking supplies. Can, can, can we get out. a focus on that, Dan? I can. Cool. on. <laughs> I can even get like a weird funky zoom in a little bit. Wait. Whoa. Oh, please don't do that. No one needs to see me closer. There you go. You can zoom in on that. That's not even all of my supplies. Some of them are still refrigerated. Uh, I bought 25 pounds of flour at Costco. We're just watching my hand wave now. <laughs> uh, so there's there's flour in Tupperware in the cupboard that I'm sure will come out before the weekend is over and sugar. I bought a big old bag of sugar. Um, yes, Dr. Detroit, no need for oven emotes tonight. Nothing is actually going into the oven tonight. Uh, this is a two-parter. You guys are going to need to tune in tomorrow if you want to see how tonight's two recipes turn out because we're only starting them. Tonight we are making uh, what is basically a seized candy replica butterscotch squares. You know those seized candy little like truffle doodle thingies that you get and it's chocolate on the outside and deliciousness on the inside? These ones are butterscotch inside. So tonight Ooh. we are going to make the butterscotch filling. Yes. We're going to put it in a pan and you got to let it cool. I actually throw it in the refrigerator for a while um, so it's easier to cut and doesn't mush or anything. So that'll stay in the refrigerator overnight. We are also going to make some Snickers filled peanut butter cookies. If you guys thought you liked peanut butter cookies, you're wrong. You don't like peanut butter cookies unless they have a Snickers bar inside. You can see up there is a big old bag of Snickers minis. More than necessary. Way more than necessary because I sent Dan shopping. Don't send Dan with your shopping I list. I can't wait. I'm like when a you say seal, I need one. 60 mini M&Ms, Dan says, I got you 120. Well, at least he got enough, right? Right. Like, I, I guess I have to be happy about that. So we are going to start making the, well, we're going to, we're going to complete making the dough, but these cookies, if you put the peanut butter Snickers cookies in the oven, right after you make the dough, you wrap it up and put it in the oven, you're going to get a flat cookie with a square in the middle. That's not what we want. I've done it before. It's not a good look. We're going to throw the dough in the refrigerator overnight as well. And tomorrow night, we are live again tomorrow night with Getting Baked with Crystal. In case you guys hadn't heard, there is no Dantix this weekend. What? Two servings of Getting Baked you with get Crystal. You two crystals, zero Dantix. But, wow. but the back of the package says only one per serving. <laughs> you're going to have more crystal than you ever thought you needed. And you're going to love it. We are going to wrap up those stickers <laughs> with some peanut butter cookie dough. And after the dough has refrigerated overnight, then it keeps a nice little ball of cookie. And... Then if you wait for them to cool completely, then you have the most amazing cookie ever. Don't eat them right away because it's kind of lava mush and you, you lose the, the sensation of a Snickers bar inside a peanut butter cookie. You got to eat them later. You have to let them cool. I'll show you guys that tomorrow night. So we're prepping tonight. That might not run the whole two hours. You guys might hang out and watch me make some more cookies. <laughs> or pizza. <laughs> or pizza. There's yes. there's probably somehow some pizza, pizza happening. Pizza here somehow. <laughs> Uh, Uncle Yvonne says yay for crystal times too. Yeah, you're more than you need, I assure you. Uh, the Husky Bunch is here. Hello, came from the Snow Dogs. Hello, friend. Thank you for being here. Uh, we bake things. We, if you guys, I'm, I'm sure there are several people. There are, oh my gosh, there are 162 people here right now. Many of you, I'm sure, have not seen what we do. Dan, you want to come over here and introduce yourself? Well, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> uh, I just got off my job, uh, my second <laughs> job ringing the bell, but then I pulled a hammy. I pulled a, an arm hammy. Ha hammy's in your leg. I, arm hammy. No, it's, 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 called, that's, some, it's that, called something Feel that. Different. That's the glaze ham. No. That's the slave. It's a bicep, but I think yours is just a sip. Ho, 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 everybody. <laughs> Welcome. We are here baking tonight. We do other yes. stuff here like game shows and fun of their live streams, so you're going to want to hit that subscribe button. But tonight, we are here where Crystal's going to be making her annual bake treats. Yes. So many things. Yes. Let me tell you so guys everything I am making for right. this baking extravaganza. Oh, my yes. font is white and hard yes. to see. Okay, we are total over the weekend. We are making... Mm -hmm. Two batches of Georgia pralines, salted brownie cookies, whipped shortbread cookies, biscotti, almond biscotti with white chocolate on top, butterscotch squares, almond roca cookies, Mexican wedding cookies, iced oatmeal cookies, peanut butter snicker, peanut butter snickers have, filled cookies. I've run out of fingers and toes. Chocolate covered pretzels because you got to use up that extra chocolate somehow. Uh, chocolate chip cookies, eggnog fudge, and a new one, Dan, that I don't think I told you about. We're oh. making crock pot candy. Oh my gosh, that sounds... F what? What? What's crockpot candy? <laughs> Maybe I can show you that too. Interesting. Interesting. Crockpot candy. And you're going to make this all over the next two days. Tonight, tomorrow, and the next day. And we'll be live I've... for a few hours tonight, a few hours tomorrow, and we'll see how it goes on Sunday where we're going to be hanging out and baking 
Uh, next week, and we'll do all the fun game show stuff. But we're gonna be uh, yes. Make sure you guys subscribe. We have year. a really fun show planned for yes. the twenty third, mm -hmm. Christmas Eve Eve. We do um, live right. trivia where you guys can play interactively on your phone. So we ask the questions, you answer in the chat, and you get points. And, it's super fun and bragging rights. It's and the so heater fun. just turned on. Awesome! <laughs> I turned that down. Whoa. I turned it way up before we started because it's a little chilly in here, and the oven's not going on tonight. Not it anytime is, it's, soon. It's, it's not at all. Hello, welcome everybody that's come from God of the Snow Dogs. If you don't know, I am Dan. I edit all of Jess's videos. If it comes across your eyes, it's probably come off of my finger. So, hello and welcome. Jess has had an awesome live stream. Did she? She's all set up and uh, it was, yeah, it was a really good live stream. She moved awesome. everything in her office and she's got multiple cameras now. It almost kind of looks like something like this. <laughs> <You know? laughs> nice. Yeah, the production level is uh, is gone up. Alright, let's read a couple super chats and let's get down here. Yes. There's a lot of people in here, um, a little bit more than usual. Yes, this is a cat. We are a house full of cats. This is Mooch. Mooch is 15 years old and you can't tell him no. He has a bed on the back side of the counter. He likes to lay there while we do the baking show. Um, he's getting a little ornery right now. He did not get his snuggles because I had to get ready for the show. Usually after work he gets snuggles. He did not today, so he might be a little insistent. Crystal, he's trying to figure ask, out what how doing. many cats do you have? Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh, 238 of you. Thank you guys. Welcome. If you like what you see, please hit that thumbs up button. It does help us on the back end of things nobody really understands. Uh, we currently have so many cats. We have Mooch. We have Kamiko. We have Rizzo. We have Topo. We have Kitty. We have Precious. And then we have three cats that don't have names yet because we found a mama cat and two little baby kittens. And how do you just leave them outside? You know, they're probably all ready for some sex. Do you want to show off the cats real quick before we bake or do we have to get to the baker real quick? Let's, let's get to some things first. Well, this is my show, Dan. This is not the cat show. We'll check that out later. If you guys don't know me, I am Crystal. I bake, paint, sew, make things. I like to do things and stuff that create and make and I show you guys things. In addition to baking and trivia, we do paint nights sometimes. We do super, super fun things. You can check us out uh, at RFS Family on Facebook. If you want to join in, check out our calendars that we post monthly so you guys can know what we are doing. We live stream three times a week. Uh, super chat here from Hannah. Thank you so much, Hannah. I'm bummed I don't get crystal cookies this year. Oh, hi. What's up? How you doing? I'm doing well. I'm sorry that you don't get cookies, but you got a super awesome package last year, and you can always have any recipe you would like from me. You guys, every recipe that I make on the show is on my Pinterest page. I have a Getting Baked with Crystal Pinterest page, so you can check that out. There is a board called Recipes I Made on the Show. Pretty simple. You can go check that out and find anything I've made on the show. Dan, do you know we are almost at 100 episodes of Getting Baked with Crystal? Really? We are. We are in the 90s at this point. Like next month, we're hitting 100 episodes. So I what are you going to do for it? I have you guys 100, over 100 Do you want me to one. make you the theme on the 100th episode? I Nobody you, wants that. I can make you 100 out of cake. <laughs> like just a one and a zero and a yeah, zero? Yeah, I'll try not to misspell it. <laughs> you probably will anyway. Okay, I'll try not to. But yeah, I know. Way to go. Remember when this was a, like a, like a, maybe we should do this. And then we did it. And we then now a hundred episodes have gone by. We planned some form of this for years. We tried to uh, record, like pre-recorded videos. Nothing was what I wanted. And then one night Dan said, uh, you want to make sure your cookies and carved pumpkins on a live stream? <laughs> and we did. And here <laughs> and we, we are did. now. And we did. So do you know, like back in the day, you would get syndication after season five, which would be your hundredth episode. <laughs> So if you got to your 100th episode, it'd be awesome because then your television show could make it to syndication. I've been syndicated on YouTube forever. You guys can go check out <laughs> all of our back episodes. They're all on the YouTube over a, channel here. Over a decade of stuff. Yeah. That's there's so much stuff. There's yeah. vlogs. There's trivia. There's so much stuff. We have lots of fun. And we invite you guys to join us. Mouse Queen with the Super Chat. Thank you so much, friend. She says, what's up, Crystal and Dan? Ripe and ready for the weekend. I am so ready for the weekend. Um, which will be spent in my house, in my kitchen, Baking. Every waking hour, I will be in here baking. Thank you uh, in advance, Sarah, for the anti-fatigue mat, because I will be using it every waking moment. Uh, Yarlene Cheng, thank you so much for joining the RFS fam. If you guys don't know, you can become a member. It's on the community tab. About five bucks a month will get you in the RFS fam. Ten bucks a month will get you in the Dan TV level. Yes. Uh, that'll get you access to our, not a podcast, sounds like one, but it's really not. Don't be fooled. Um... At the RFS fam level, our uh, Dan TV level will also get you access to Watch Us, Watch Us, our home movies where we watch our old vlogs and react. Fun. It's lots of fun. Yeah. So thank you for becoming a member uh -huh. and welcome to the RFS fam. Thank you family. so much. Yes. Happy Crystal, Friday. Crystal the animal lover. Hello, friend. I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. How you been? 
Uh, thank you for the super chat. She says, hi, guys. Hope you have a good Christmas and oh, New yeah. Year. I hope and you're going to spend well. it with us live. We'll be live on New Year's Eve. Yes, we party. will. Yes. yes. Uh, if you guys <laughs> don't know already, if you have not heard, New Year's Eve, we start at 6 p.m. Pacific time. We are on the West Coast, so we start at Pacific time. We'll be going until midnight Pacific time, doing yes. all kinds of things and stuff and hanging out with you guys. Dude, we're behind Jess. Jess says, we raided your stream. You sure did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you. And welcome oh. to everybody who mm -hmm. is new here. Mouse with another super chat. Oh, because of your... Uh, hamstring that you pulled in your arm she threw the anatomy book at you she says lol i've missed this we've missed you friend Aww. uh we we used to do a call-in show but now we do an interactive trivia show and mouse queen you need to come come back for your glory mouse queen did you hit me in the upper tibula over here in the, in <laughs> the that, upper tibula region tibula? yes uh, Nicholas, thank you so much hey, for the super super yes, chat. What's up, friend? Appreciate you, friend. He says hi, Crystal and Dan. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Yeah, but to he you. said thank it like you that. so much. Merry Christmas. <laughs> like he's a New York thug and he's gonna punch you? No, it's not that. <laughs> but I can listen no. to him talk all day. You'll get to hear it next year at Novi Pet Expo when you go to Novi. Uh, you'll get to meet Nick and But Dan, his accent. I don't like snow. <laughs> There's no snow at Novi. <laughs> There's snow in that part of the country at that time of year. Hey, 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 Thanks, I've Nick. already cleaned the counter. Merry Can you Christmas. Stay back. Uh, Yarlene Chang with uh, the super chat with my favorite pear emoji. If you guys don't know, I love the pear emoji. Best thing about the pear is just the emoji. The pear itself, you know, kind of I mush. like pears. Just a mush fruit. Uh, just with, a mush with fruit. With the cool pear, thank you so much for the super chat for the support. Uh, Brittany, oh, everything just jumped. I'm so far behind now. Uh, where did it go? Brittany said something. <laughs> I don't know where it went. Sorry, I'm trying to catch up on Super Chats here. <laughs> Thank you to everybody for Super Chats. I am behind on reading them because I was running my mouth and talking a whole bunch. But I'm catching up, don't you worry. Brittany is so excited for her snacks. Get in my belly. I'm excited. Brittany is getting one of our packages this year. Um, the baking that I do, I not only give to local friends and family, I ship it to friends and family. And Brittany are amazing... I don't want to mess it up. Executive producer intern is getting a package. Is it intern because she don't get paid? Yes. <laughs> yes. If she's not is an that, intern, then I have that, to pay her. Is so. that why? It's because she, she didn't, volunteered for this position. She didn't get, she didn't get paid. Uh, Hannah with the super chat, thank you so much. 23rd will be so fun. I re rearranged my real life schedule to be there. Yes, she uh, canceled the hockey game plan that she had and is doing it another night so she can be here. It's going to be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I, I hope we live up to your expectations, Hannah. But it's going to be probably one of the funnest game shows yet. I really hope so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, maybe nuke the mooch toy. You want to warm up his... Uh... Okay, no, I can't because here's the deal. Okay, <laughs> here's the deal about nuke and the mooch toy. As soon as I open the microwave door and start microwaving it because it starts smelling like... It smells like popcorn kind of. Right. Uh, he stands up and he's sitting there now. Oh, he so thinks he'll never. Food. He gotcha. thinks it's food. So it's like I can't win with the microwave toy because every time I'm like, you know what he needs? He needs a little heat boost. Uh, he stands up like, is it time for uh, my Totino's pizza roll? You know? <laughs> He's ready for his snacks. Uh, Marco says, I'll come by and pick some up. Friend, you are on the Christmas list. You can come by and pick some up. I will let you know when they're ready. You can, why don't you come by now and bring us some pizza? I'm trying to figure out <laughs> logistics of getting pizza here versus stream time, and it's not working out. No? Uh-uh. Uh, Dr. Detroit says, for the 100th episode, what if you baked the very first thing you baked ever with a twist? Uh, the oh. very first thing I baked ever, not on the show ever, when I was 14, um, my sights were set about here, and I made cream puffs. I don't really make good cream puffs. Can we just clarify that? Like, I, I tried. I tried really hard. I don't really make a good cream puff. I was thinking about doing the sugar cookies again because on that very first episode, we didn't show you guys how to make things. Um, it was Amanda, Amanda Gingrich, who suggested, why don't you share the recipe so we can bake along? Prior to that, I was not doing that. So I just made sugar cookies and had the dough already prepared, and we had some fun and made some cookies. So, <coughs> excuse me, I'm a little... Uh, allergy congested today so bear with me in my, my little cough um we might do sugar cookies on the 100th episode were we've we, been wanting to do sugar yeah, cookies. yeah because we have so many of those designs that we could smash into yes. the dough I'm and i've excited. not shared my sugar cookie recipe which came from my aunt terry yeah. who uh by the way the recipe we're making tonight for the butterscotch squares is from my aunt terry and the recipe we will make tomorrow for almond roca cookies is also from my aunt oh, terry yes, some of you guys have that recipe good, yeah. if you have her cookbook right and again thank you to everybody uh who came over here from the snow dogs <laughs> vlogs uh, live stream my bangs are tickling my eyebrows uh, <laughs> what's up Lee? what's the other terry uh sam's life with a husky thank you so much for the super chat she oh, says hi dan and crystal love you guys thank you we love you thanks for being here and thank you for the support uh jess 
commenting on something I talked about five minutes ago, says, I'm so happy for you guys. So glad you guys finally took the leap and made these lives. Me too. Because you had to force me into it. Yeah. I, I wasn't going to do it been, if it wasn't perfect. You had to make me do it. It's been a lot of fun. Oh my gosh. You're just punching through these comments. Like a boom, boom. And again, thank you to everybody. I see everybody's like, just sent me. Thank you so much. Uh, Beer and Bug says, the 100th show will be a clip show. LOL. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. Um, if executive producer intern Brittany wants to go through every single episode and get every time Dan annoyed me and clip it together, <laughs> then it can be That's a, a lot of time. You know, that was a lot of time. Jess and I were talking about doing some sort of like flash, doing some sort of year review episode. I'm like, oh man. How do you quantum leap through all that footage? Right. There's, you know? There's like, oh, a lot. I know, right? Uh, right? Chris Lee Animal Lover says, great hair and shirt. Thanks. My uh, my, my hair is too short for braids, so we're, we're doing pigtails, and they're also tickling I my I think neck. it's a lot of fun. You look you look happy and festive today. Look at me. I'm a walking copyright strike. <laughs> oh! oh, oh. <laughs> don't, don't say it that It feels so good. I just don't want to have to suck it in today. So you wore your baggy sweater? Also, you, like... You didn't even lint roll it. <laughs> <laughs> no, huh? I didn't like brush its. I didn't like brush its fluff <laughs> either. I had to put it on real quick before I went. I've been in this thing for like over an hour because I was moderating the live stream at uh, Snow Dogs Vlogs. So yeah, your moderator today was a Santa Claus. <laughs> nice. Oh ho ho ho! Yes. Uh, Chris says here at RFS Dan, we all love Crystal, but nobody likes Dan's wife. <laughs> 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 See, you guys have to watch the show so you, so you understand the inside jokes <laughs> like that. <laughs> Dan's wife's. She's really terrible. Uh, Mr. Danny Gell is here. Hey, what's up? Hope you're Hello. doing well. And thank you so much for the super yes, chat. Yes, happy Appreciate Friday. You. I miss you. Happy uh, Friday. Okay. Is, next, is it next weekend that's Christmas? It is next weekend. Oh, my gosh. We started getting piles of everybody's Christmas cards. We did. And I think I'll hang them up behind you as your. As I'm finishing up, as catching you're up on, on the, the show. Yeah, I think I'm going to start handing them up on the wall behind us here. Thinking about... Pieces of pizza dancing in my head. <laughs> uh, PJ with the super chat. Thank you so much, friend. Uh, says, hey, Dan, can you see me? I'm over here. Puts hands up and waves. LOL. It's crowded in here tonight. Driving back to Michigan tomorrow. Oh, oh my gosh. Drive safely, friend. Have a safe Hi, day. Hi, PJ. Uh, Amanda with the super chat. Thank you so much, friend. Love for Dan and Crystal. Amazing channel. Thanks. We try. Yeah, thanks. We're, look, we have as much fun with this as you guys do, and I'm just really glad you guys have yeah. fun with it, because we'd still be here doing it whether you did or not. But we're at another uh, year in. Seems like it might quit this year. It really does. This yeah. whole year went by yeah. so fast. This will be year three. I say it with all of you that I spent all this time. Some of you have spent just about every minute we've been live here and know you can't have a refund. <laughs> it is what it is, <laughs> as is. Um, I'll scream with another super chat. Thank you so much. I knocked you right into cranium, my man. That one was for you. Oh, love apples for everybody. <laughs> love apples. Uh, Harv 1981, hello, friend. I don't think I've seen you in a while. How you been? Uh, wishing you guys a safe and merry Christmas. Glad the weekend is here. I am beat. Me too. It has been a rough week. Uh, Thank Sasuke you Danielle says, I like your shirt. Thanks. I got it on Amazon. I got it at Ross. <laughs> Uh, Nancy, Ellen, Mac, hello, and thank you for the super, super chat. Have fun, have to go to bed. Work retail was at oh, work early today. Love what you do. Oh, thank you. Thank I, you so much for the super chat. I appreciate that. I hope I'm you get so a breakfast sorry. burrito <laughs> tomorrow. I'm so sorry you have to work retail during the holiday season. I do not miss those days. It makes you a better person. Just know that. If you have worked retail during a holiday season, you are a better person than those who have not. Hopefully. Hopefully you learned from it. Uh, Jess says, the pack understood the assignment. Thanks, Podians, for coming and supporting our oh, friends. Oh, thanks, Jess. If you like what you see, like and subscribe. We have lots of fun here. We do. And Jess, you're here for lots of our stuff, too. Uh, Jordan said, OMG, it's Blake. Yeah, straight to his room. <laughs> Rare Blake sighting. Uh, did Dan make crystal tea again? Not today. Later sounds good. You want tea now? I can probably make tea up here. I have tea's fingers that can do it. <laughs> Shut it. <laughs> Um, what I'm hitting up behind me is people that have already sent for the Christmas cards. Crystal, did a batch go out of Christmas cards already? Today, a batch went out. A big old stack of recipe cards. If you guys do not know already, you can see it right down. Oh, wrong direction. I always do it the wrong direction. Right down. Oh, it changed. My timing was so good, and then it was not. Uh, we do have a holiday card exchange. Feel free to send us a Christmas card, a Hol Hanukkah card, a Kwanzaa card, a What's Up Hey Guys card. Whatever you want to do, send us a card. The address for our P.O. Box is down in the description of the video below. You can also find it on the community tab. Send us a card. I will send you back a recipe card, like a postcard with the recipe on it. There it is. There it is. Look, it's there right now. Look, look. It's for pumpkin roll. 
I am on a mission to replace in everybody's house pumpkin pie with pumpkin roll. <laughs> Get the recipe card. You can make pumpkin roll, and you can find out how much yeah, better it is than pumpkin it? pie. Crystal yes, that 20, is my goal. Crystal 2022. This is why we're handing out pumpkin roll recipe, because I don't want there to be any confusion. And for anybody to think pumpkin pie is better than pumpkin roll, because it's not. It doesn't even have frosting. If you have to cover something in whipped cream to eat it, it's not that good. Spoiler. <laughs> it's not that good. It's, it adds to it. No. No, 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 no. You don't have to add anything to the pumpkin roll. It comes with its own cream cheese frosting. It is amazing. So send us a card. I'll send you the recipe. I also have an amazing chocolate chip cookie recipe I will send you. If you prefer that one instead, just write me a note and let me know. For those of you who got their cards already sent out to you when you get it, if I sent you the wrong one or if you wanted both, let me know. Just shoot me a message. But I think I got it covered for everybody who wanted both or the other or whatever. Uh, Chris with the super chat. Thank you so much, friend. For the 100th episode, we should recreate the greatest hits. Hashtag vodka for Crystal. Keeping eggs separated. Almond extract and all the fun. <laughs> See, again, you have to be here for all the episodes to get the inside jokes. These all mean something. Um... Something that does not make me a better person, but it amuses you guys, and that's what counts, right? Uh, Hannah with the super chat seconds that motion. We might not be friends anymore. Just, just gonna put that out there. And you, oh my gosh! I don't want to. There's so many Christmas cards. I'm working on it though. I gotta take. I got. I, I'm union, so I gotta take. A, I gotta take a break for you. You might want to put them closer together. Also, they're flopping open, and we can't see the beauty of the Christmas cards. You might be doing it wrong, Dan. I, I can see them in the background, so I feel like I, I, I went. I went. Okay. <laughs> if you stand on that side, you can see them. Oh, if you are with the super chat, thank you so much. Oh, snap, it's Dana Claus! <laughs> it oh is. my gosh. Um, Mouse Queen with the super chat suggesting, how about every time Dan has been roasted by Crystal or the audience gets pieced together? Um, every episode that happens, again, that, <laughs> that would take so much effort to find it. We roast you constantly. Y'all are gonna get a lump of coal. You're a really good sport, though. You take it. I you do take, take it. it. For the most part, your feelings don't get hurt. No. For the most part. I like comedy. <laughs> you like self-deprecating comedy. Okay, I gotta go back to it. I gotta clock back in before. Oh, wait. I was, sorry, I was fired from my job. <laughs> you gotta finish now. I was fired. You There's already more cards. started it. There's more cards. Finish it. Finish it. <laughs> uh, Chris says, Crystal, bring in the hot takes on the fall treats. Look, have I ever steered you guys wrong? Trust me. I know what I'm talking about. Is it rude if I eat a retail snack next to your show, like, while you're making... Not Depends on the retail snack. Is it something I can make? <laughs> yeah. What is it? I don't know, but... Like, <laughs> if it's every, something I can make, my good. response is, how dare you? Like, but if, it, if like, you need an M&M or... Well, I, I can't even say Snickers, because I made Snickers on the show one time. Those were really good. Those were really good. You made a tray of Snickers It once, did. So that Look, was super good. Life advice, don't make a tray of Snickers, because they're amazing, and you'll eat them all. <laughs> <laughs> when I started this show nearly 100 episodes ago... Oh, it just seems like yesterday. I was like 15 pounds lighter, not gonna lie. Not even years younger. No. no, it was, it no was like, was my thinking? age does not matter. Look at me. Do I look like I age? No, I just keep getting fatter from baking snacks for you guys to watch. Because then they're here in my house and I eat them. How do you not? So, thanks for helping me to gain 15 to 20 pounds over the last two years. Appreciate you guys. Uh, Mouse Queen with the super chat, thank you. Pumpkin pie is the bee's knees. Don't at me, sister. But have you had a pumpkin roll with a good cream cheese filling? Because if you haven't, I don't want your opinion yet. I'll bring one to you next year in Dallas, but it might not be happy by the time I get no, off the airplane. Cream cheese does not travel if it's not <laughs> been baked. And that part doesn't bake. The mouse is it getting doesn't. really jumpy, Dan. Uh, Hannah says, I know, thank sorry. you for the super chat. Not friends. Is that why I don't get cookies? You already had the cookies. <laughs> See, look, this is what happens. You have my cookies, and then you become a crystal cookie junkie. Like, you, you just have to have more. Uh, there was a, a company party for somebody that, that my company does work for and we were all invited and I said I can't go I have to start prepping things for my baking weekend um and my my old man I, I, I have an old man at work that I love so much if you guys are new here he's he's 82 years old now and he's probably one of my favorite people he is he is Dan as an old man and I take such good care of him at work and he's like come on you have to go you can't miss it and I said Joe I have to prepare for for cookie baking if I don't do it there's not going to be cookies for you next week he said never mind it's okay you're, you're excused so <laughs> you get addicted did you get a card with a rainbow row of trees I did I got your card F van mm, I know your very, secret identity it was now. very pretty I know yes, I did I like too pull back to reveal oh my god <laughs> uh yes Yes. Afriel says, oh, card. I haven't stopped laughing since the stream started. Thank you. Again, we're just here to entertain. Um, yes, so 20, I think, people have sent us cards already. Um, all but three of you guys have uh, 
card sent back to you in the mail. The other three I picked up today. Ooh, we got a package. We did get a package in the mail, and it's from Petco, so I know it's for the cats, and today they knocked it off the counter, and they just batted it around. <laughs> it's a small box. That's, that's Four or five the cats. They batted it around, and I did not pick... I let them have their fun hitting this thing around, but none of them were smart enough to tr try to get in into it. Mooch would have. Mooch definitely would have. <laughs> you can't see his face right now, but it looks like this. <laughs> Mooch is the grumpiest of the cats, you know, aside from grumpy yeah, cat. You're, you're not getting the full effect. It's He's got his chin on the counter, just grumping, that's all. Uh, fire start. Oh, the mouse is so jumpy, Dan, I don't know what's going on. Oh, there's a hair on it, maybe that's it. Oh, let's see, oh, 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 that helped. Um, where was I? Uh, Firestar says, hi, I'm a big fan of you and Gone to the Snow Dogs. Firestar, I'm a big fan of you. Thanks for being here. Love the name. Also, yeah. uh... Not you... Firestarter. Firestar. Yeah, Firestar. Okay. Like, Spider-Man and his amazing friends was Firestar. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit before your time. Uh, uh Shannon says, I think I spot our card. I bet you do, because I got your card. And which I one? Who am I you. smashing? Who am I smashing? No, no, no. You better be nice to her. Oh, that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you've used up all your Sorry. insulting Shannon for the year. Sorry about my, my, <laughs> all of it. My, my, my apologies. Uh, Brittany says, take a photo for Instagram. And this, my friend, is why you are the executive producer intern. Uh, I'll call you, Con. You should send me your address. I'll send you a card. Uh, if you guys want to see more of our cats, you can check out RFS Cats on Instagram, and uh, they have a YouTube channel that Dan doesn't upload videos to anymore, but it is there, and you can check out old videos. Wow. Did you hear that? Like, speed bump? <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the bus? I saw Just the bus that you got thrown under. <laughs> 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 well, okay. Yes. So, Shall you we? could breathe for a second. Ah. Oh, ah. oh, look. Sam says, be nice oh. to everyone, Dan, or else. Yeah. I don't know. Who I thought at first when I glanced at it that you were telling everyone to be nice to Dan. I mixed up the words. She, no. Are you writing in all caps? That's a five minute timeout. <laughs> Sam. Be oh, nice. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Um, I'll speak with the super chat. Thank you so much, friends. Says, I have finally found the picture I drew of Dantic style Dan as a dog. I'll hold on to it and give it to you personally next yes, year. Yes, it'll be nice to see a few of you in Dallas so next year. I am so excited for Mouse Queen to be able to meet you in person. I know. And I think she's going to just like fangirl. Or maybe I will. <laughs> maybe you will. Oh my gosh. Maybe. She's like, hey, question me. Hey. Question me now. Question me. <laughs> and I'm like, all of you above. Uh, Brittany, again, this is why you have the internship. Brittany has posted a link to our Instagram page for the cat, so check oh, that yes. out. Uh -huh. Amanda says, hey, Crystal, do you like my Christmas card? My dog picked out the picture for you and Terry. Yes, Amanda sent pictures of her dogs. Oh, know. they're on my fridge. Oh, they're Ooh, on the fridge. Can you see them? They're on the fridge. Amanda's dogs. Cute. Thank you. We love them. Yes, Sam, he was trying to give you a five-minute timeout. I stopped him, though. Don't worry. At the zero hour. Uh, Christopher friend, friend says, I don't see my card. Am I just missing it or did it get lost by the post office? No, I do remember getting your card. Your, oh, your last name one, is very memorable. I think that's the one that the cat barfed on. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no. It's, it's this one with the cat. Look, I even remember which one it is without even looking inside. How about that? How about that? You were right uh, here, Amanda, friend. I did get your card as well. I, look, damn. Like Chris and Amanda? Amanda? Yes. Oh, yeah, there, it's right here. Yeah, you guys all sent uh, amazing cards. Yeah. Uh, some of them with jokes on them, which was hilarious. I didn't even know that was a thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's more in the pile, but that's as far as I got for hanging. Uh, Liz McKenna says, I don't see my card. We did get your card. I remember your name as well. Uh, right, Sam's right, for the husky right. says, wish I could stay longer, but have to be up early. No worries. You can always catch this later. But thanks for showing up and popping in and saying hi. Have a good night. Mouse Queen with the Super Chat says, you'll get a Texas-style hot seat treatment and a ton of fangirling. I've always <laughs> wanted Texas barbecue. Uh, Crystal still hasn't started cooking. Is this now not getting baked with Crystal? Look, this is my show. Sometimes I just like to hang out and chat for a while. Um, also, uh, this is like step one of a three-day process. I'm, I'm kind of working so, my way up to it, but you, it is time to start grabbing you see, ingredients. You see all the energy she has now? Wait until <laughs> Sunday night at like 9 o'clock. Uh, Sunday night is going to be like... When she's got Do all... I really have to make this cookie? Yep. And then you have Can all just... the empties. Yeah. And you got to load them all it's, up and I'm going to be all the empties. You'll be, uh, you'll be out of energy and so you're bouncing around now. <laughs> uh... Lefty Loves Husky says, it is chat with cat ears. Yeah, you see Mooch's cat ears there. Uh, step one, gain another 15 pounds. I was trying so hard. Um, who, who is this? This is one of my favorite cards. Uh, There's no... It's over here. 
for Olivia, are you here? This Olivia, if you are here, we I all wanna, had a really good laugh at your card. I think it's I want to make that next year. <laughs> uh, Martha says, did you get my card? I don't think we did yet. No, I have Libby's cave right Martha here. Martha Fillmore does not sound no, familiar. Not yet. Why is there a Funko Pop in the ingredient pile? Because it's me. <laughs> it's the me Funko Pop. <laughs> Come on, how cute is that? Who has a fun co-op? Thanks again to uh, my friend Joel who sent that to me for my birthday and made me cry. Got me all verklempt. Uh, you need an anti-fatigue mat for the kitchen. Jordan, don't you worry. Fast talking Sarah with no H. Got it covered. <laughs> I put that down every show. Oh, and now I'm not fatigued. <laughs> now I have to wash my hands because I touched it and I can't not. Uh. Uh, Just T says, hey, Crystal, what do you call a camper driving through frozen rain? <laughs> do you know, Dan? Uh, I don't know. What do you call a camper driving through frozen rain? Van Halen. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Oh, my gosh. Somebody ban her. Uh, yes, oh. Chris, that is a Crystal Funko Pop. Apparently, you can make custom Funko Pops, and my friend Joel made a custom Funko Pop of me, which might be the best gift I've ever received, it's... except my KitchenAid mixer and my cereal bowl that keeps my cereal out of my milk. <laughs> you love those things. <laughs> I do love those. Those are things. on your desert island. Yes. Those are all of my three things yes. on my desert island. I, I can't have my milk in my, cer my cereal in my milk when I'm on a deserted island, and I... I, give me a power strip because I need to bake something. Right. I'll probably need ingredients too. Please don't put me on a deserted island. On Gilligan's Island, they rode the exercise bike, I think. So we For need power? A, yeah, so we need an exercise we need an ex bike. We have one. And coconuts. We, we can do that. And coconuts. Hello, the Husky with the Super Chat. Yes. Thank you so much, Francis. Hi, guys. We made 514 subs. Love you guys, Dan and Crystal. That's amazing. I remember you were trying so hard to get to 100, and now you have shot up with your shorts. Uh, guys, go check out her shorts. They're doing really well. That's awesome. <laughs> Uh, my Last Wicked Adventure... Sorry, now I have hiccups. My Last Wicked Adventure uh, wants a happy birthday wish. No. It is this coming Tuesday. You can get an unhappy birthday. Yes. It's, ha it's your unbirthday. Happy unbirthday. Happy unbirthday. <laughs> but... You, but we won't see you before your birthday, so... They'll spoil before... They'll save spoil. this for later. Happy birthday. Oh, uh, you better wrap Don't it up. Don't use it up now. You save that for later. Those go bad. <laughs> Don't smell it either. Don't smell it after <laughs> Tuesday. About a happy birthday. PJ's here. What's up, PJ? Big Today Count says, I'm on here on this account now. <laughs> you just like to jump around, don't you? <laughs> okay, so. Okay. Dan. Mm. Most of my ingredients are out. Right. Uh, I sent Dan to the store with a big old list. You I, guys. I checked it off the list. This. Wait, 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 wait. Excuse me. Is that all your ingredients? This is my list of ingredients. So I make a spreadsheet where I write all the recipes I'm going to make, and I add up all the ingredients that I need, and this is all the things. You guys, it starts with 16 sticks of butter. That if you wonder why I gained 15 pounds, this is why. 16 sticks of butter. Yay! Well, good thing Santa's suit's hot here so I can start sweating off some LVs. <laughs> seven cups of sugar. And seven and a half cups of brown sugar wow. and seven and a half cups of powdered sugar. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm wow. so excited. And I just can't There are going to be so many snacks. And I'm very concerned, and this happens every year, like I make all the snacks over three days, but I have to put them in something before I package them up for everybody. And I don't have anything to put them in this year. My flour is in all my Tupperware. So you might have to like hold your shirt out like this so I can fill it with snacks and then hold them until everything's done. I'm in. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> Thanks. That's fine. Crystal says, can I get something from you? Yes. Mail us a little card with your address, and we will send you one back. Hila helps me with the super chat. Says, yes, look and like all of our vids. I was watching one of your videos today, and the, my takeaway from all of it, yeah, I know you have dogs, but, like, you know, <laughs> I work at a dog. I work for dogs. Um, <laughs> Not impressed. I didn't. Do you have tattoos? Because I think I seen the arm go into the screen, and I thought I saw tattoos on your arm. I think that was this morning. That was earlier today. Uh, Brittany wants to know if I checked my list twice. Brittany, have you met me? I checked um, it like five times. Right, and thank you so much for the super chat. <laughs> Although, despite the fact that I checked it five times, when I transferred the list over to the shopping list for Dan, apparently I did not put the three bags of white chocolate oh. chips that I need, so... That's okay, tomorrow... Dan, I'm gonna need you to go to the store again. Tomorrow, while you're sleeping in the morning, probably like at the 8.30 hour, <laughs> I will uh, leave the house. I will go get some... A cheeseburger. I mean, I will go get you white chocolate... I will go get you white chocolate chips early in the morning. Can you give me tamales from the tamale lady on the corner? Yeah, you just gotta give me some tamani. Oh. <laughs> I have I have dollars for tamale lady, but yeah, I'll get you some tamales tomorrow. 
Some cheese tamales. I would love baking tamales. Tomorrow the tamale lady will show up on the corner over here, and then you get your tamales. It's like, you know how that camel with the rug shows up inside uh, Animal Crossing, like, like, and then you, like, it's all special? It's like that with the tamales. It's like, oh, so they're good. so good. They're so good. She gave me her um, business card last time. Hey. I know. <laughs> she gave it to me with the English side up, not the Spanish side up. She knows what she's doing. One time I tried to talk to her in Spanish, like, oh, I know some Spanish. Let me, like... Dos tamales de queso, por favor. And she said, blah, 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 blah. and I said, no entiendo, lo siento. Dang. <laughs> I didn't know what she said so, back to me. So you had an intro and an outro. Oh, yeah. She, that was it. Yeah, that, that was I didn't have the middle. I didn't know <laughs> what she said back to me at all. <laughs> Can you slow it down? You could see how white I am. Like, you could see my veins. Slow down your Spanish, please. <laughs> I can plan ahead. I, I can't do it on the fly at all. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, bring, I'll, I'll get some tamales tomorrow. Oh my gosh, is this Patty Bueno who finally made a live? Oh my gosh. Is that who that is? It is, just says Patty, but it, it our looks like it might be Patty is Bueno. It, is it our 100 subscriber winner, Patty Bueno? From way back in the day. From when we finally hit 100 subscribers, we had a giveaway, and Patty Bueno won. And I will never forget you for that. <laughs> and I hope you'll never forget us for yeah, that. Yeah, hi, long time to uh, see you. Hannah with the Super Chat says, I know where you can put the snacks. Yeah. Like, like, like Simon Cat. <laughs> um, I did see your message, and I will send you the recipe for the stuff and the things mm-hmm. and stuff late, later. Later. Crystal, I can't believe we managed to stand here for 40 minutes and not do a single <laughs> thing. This is great. Well, actually, we're hanging out, but like, We've done it's lots great. of things. Patty says, yeah, it's me, LOL. <laughs> see, look, from your little, little profile picture and that just your first that name, hasn't changed I knew it was in, like, you. seven years. Nope. Uh, tamales. And she spells uh, Patty the same way my mom does, so I appreciate that. Uh, Amanda says, ooh, tamales. Yep, yeah, they're, they're like $2.50 a piece. Totally worth it. If you guys they're, have only had tamales uh, from like a restaurant, you're doing it wrong. If you see a lady on a corner, with tamales being sold out of the trunk of her car, that's where you need to get them. She knows what's up. She got up at 4 o'clock this morning. She packaged up those tamales in her trunk and drove out to the dirt field so she could sell them to you, and that's where you need to buy them from. Does not matter if they're 250 Totally worth it. Get the tamales. It'll be cold, too. It'll be like, I'll probably go out there at like 6.30 in the morning. It'll be freezing. And it's, it's Put right on over your there. Santa sweater. I bet she'll love it. I will. <laughs> and don't get the ones wrapped in the banana leaves because they're never as good. Has to be a corn husk. Right. Uh, Hilda Husky says, yes, I have sleeves. About 30 tattoos total. That's a Okay, lot. yeah, see, I thought so. Uh, Jody says, did you see my joke in my card? It's yeah. such a pine. Such a pine? Did yeah, it was the tree joke. Remember the tree yes, joke? There yes, yes, we did. We, we had a good laugh over yeah. that as well. And don't worry, your card is in the mail. Yeah, last night, it was, it was last night that we were, we, were going, we were going through them last night. Uh, Jody wants a turtle tattoo on her left upper leg. I have no tattoos. I wanted a turtle tattoo. Yeah. And you want me to drop? I think I went with Terry. Did you take me somewhere? And like some dude, he had a tattoo studio in his garage, but it like was as clean and sanitary as a tattoo studio in your garage could be. And we hung out there for like three hours while he tried to draw what I wanted and he couldn't do it. And I'm like, yeah, I can't. I No, it's not what I want. And I'm sure he was pissed at me and hated me, but um, I can't commit. So I have no tattoos. Uh, Dan just DM'd me oh, a question. Oh, yeah. No, your problem. Uh, Patty, Can't you see we're live streaming Patty, here? Patty Bueno says, uh, you got to find that Tia that has the, the tamales. Look, my family is <laughs> yes. like Mexican, Mexican. And my mom still bought the tamales. Like, they're for reals Mexican. <laughs> and they did, did not... Did she ever make them when you I, were little? Maybe... Uh, I don't know. Is anybody else from my family in here that can answer that before I was alive? Uh, your mom is here, apparently. Is she here? I see mom, someone said hi, Mom, uh, mostly. But in my lifetime, I've never seen her make... I've never seen her labor more than... Uh, uh, um, uh, what are the rolled-up cheesy rolls? Enchiladas. <laughs> the rolled-up cheesy rolls. And Patty says I do the same. They are so time-consuming. I have plans to one day make tamales but yeah like who has the time for that i could just go buy them from the lady on the corner and they're delicious and they're gonna be so much better than what i make probably uh just tea with another joke what is it called when a bunch of people are killed with a tamal do you know dan do you know what a massacre <laughs> <laughs> who said that just tea oh my gosh <laughs> there's like tamale jokes on the internet yes yes there are uh, where else are we? Mouse Queen with the Super Chat. Given my history with needles, I can't do tattoos. Yeah, I, I'm also, like, a little bit scared of, like, what if they start and I'm like, oh, no, I don't like that. That does not feel good. Please stop. And then I just have, like, dots. <laughs> uh, Chris has a safety pin and some ink. I got your tattoo, friend. No charge. Thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> Is that okay? Can I, can I turn that down? 
All right, shall we make some butterscotch squares, you guys? Again, this is amazing. This is a Seas Candy replica recipe. We're gonna make the filling for it. It goes in a tray. Tomorrow I will take it out of the tray, I will cut it into little squares, and then I will dip it into chocolate, and then we have a little chocolate-covered, delicious butterscotch thing my jigger. Dad, I so, in the piano. Oh my sorry. gosh. Sorry, sorry. I'm live streaming oh, here! Sorry, I had to approve a thing real quick, and then it started playing my piano. Loop. Jesus. <laughs> Can you play me a song yet? <laughs> all right, all right. We are going to need two cups of brown sugar. I don't think I got my brown sugar out. Excuse me, Dan. Hi, everybody. It's me, Dan, from RFS Dan. <laughs> you can find him on such shows as now. Dantix, Getting Baked with Crystal, when I allow him. I'm probably getting booted off of here. Most of the time. All right. Two cups of brown oh, sugar, no, plus a half a cup of brown sugar. We're going to reserve that for later. We need some heavy cream that is in the fridge. We need six tablespoons of butter. I'm not going to use my soft ones because those are for the cookies. I'm going to get a fresh stick of butter out. Alpha Shadow is here. Hello, friend. Hey, Crystal and Dan. How are you guys doing? We are doing well. Mm. Getting started on my super holiday baking weekend. Dan, can you give me the little yeah, Tupperware like time since we see you. out of the bottom drawer that has the butter in it? The Tupperware bottom drawer of butter. Like right here? Yes. Okay. In the fridge. Bottom drawer. Did Dan wash that shirt with his robe? He doesn't wash his robe. <laughs> There's no... I don't see a tub in the bottom. Keep oh, looking, man. Like, Keep looking. You mean like the... Like this kind of butter? No, no, no. The Tupperware? Is there a Tupperware that has butter in it? <laughs> there might not be. Sometimes I use it all up. I've mixed it all up. Because I only need six tablespoons for this, so I have to put the other two tablespoons away. Watch out, I've got a knife. <laughs> Getting fat with crystal. That's what we're doing here. Uh, Molokan. <laughs> I like snacks. I'd rather have snacks than be thin. Although, if I could do both, that would be amazing. But I want my snacks to still taste good. I don't need, like, healthy snacks. Ugh. Remember your knife skills? I have no knife skills. Um, I'm, I'm pretty good at stabby. Oh. Megan is here. Hey, y'all. What's up, Megan? Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, I'm, I'm just... Checking chat and stuff and things. And I think, I think I read all the super chats, yeah? Yeah, I read that. Okay, we're good. Thank you guys for the super chats and for the support. Oh my gosh, a new one popped up. Thank you so much, Mouse Queen. Dan's antics on Crystal's baking show remind me a good deal of Regis's antics on any of the cooking shows he was a guest on. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> you're not fat, Crystal. You're just a little husky. I see what you did there. <laughs> husky, get it? Dogs? <laughs> uh, Hannah says, I'd rather have snacks than be thin. Should be a shirt. It should. I should do that in my free time. Uh, Alan Fairchild says, what is your favorite Christmas song? This Justin Bieber's got a good one. Oh, um, so, so does uh, Cindy Lauper's got a good since Christmas song, too. I prefer punk rock versions of Christmas songs. Like, Oi to the World. Uh, Tristan says, you can, just exercise. I've heard it works. Oh, I've heard that too, but it's not a sacrifice I'm willing to just make. Just enough that we can have more chocolate. Uh, Mouse Queen says, P.S. What have you, Dan? Aw, thanks. <laughs> thanks. Actually, Mouse. she said, what have you, Dan? Thanks, Mouse Queen. <laughs> All right, so I got my butter. I need salt. I need baking soda. I need vanilla. <laughs> Look how far we've gotten. Look, it's my show. I do what I want. Salt, baking soda. This Santa's gonna make some pizza up here at some point. We're gonna use this uh, fancy Mexican vanilla because I'm sure that's gonna taste amazing in the butterscotch. We need one and a half cups of confectioner's sugar or powdered sugar sifted to remove lumps. I think I'm gonna have to open a new bag for that. So much. I like, when I pick up, I love the bag of the powdered sugar. They feel so good. I need to get short. They're, oh, no, so, the for the... they're so squishable. I love it. Uh, Megan says, did you get my Christmas card? Dan and Crystal, not yet, Megan. Your card did not come yet. Sorry. Um, when it does, though, it'll spend a few days up on the wall, I'm sure. Yes. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to leave these up there, though, because as soon as the kittens wake up, because <laughs> we do have kittens, 
As soon as the kittens wake up, they will be on this. Uh, and later we'll open up that package to see what's in that box. But uh, first. Yes. Let's make butterscotch squares. All right. All right, this one goes on the stove. Do you have bonus cam, or is that not yeah, a thing uh, that's working? Like, five minutes before we started, cam two kind of died. But let me take this real quick, Boom. and let me go see if I can... Uh, let me go see if I can fix that again, so we can get uh, so we can get that going. All right, come on, Dan, you can do it. I can do it. Okay, so we are going to add to a large, heavy saucepan brown sugar, heavy cream, butter, and salt. We are going to melt this down, stir it, integrate it, all that good stuff. Oh. Laura Rose says pumpkin roll tonight, along with painting. Awesome, pumpkin roll is the best. If you guys haven't tried it, you're missing out. Stop eating pumpkin pie, cause it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> you're very, you're ready to change the world. I really am. Come on, everybody who has had my pumpkin roll has told me that it's better than pumpkin pie. You stay, your face. stay on your bed, I don't care. You do what you want in your own house, but don't go around telling me pumpkin pie is better than pumpkin roll. Woo! Hot, <laughs> hot takes with Crystal. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're doing two cups of packed brown sugar. Hopefully I have two cups in here. If not, I've got two more bags back there. Uh, Alan Fairchild, if you're talking to us and asking if we're getting snow, no! We live in the desert in Southern California. We, we very rarely get snow. Like three years ago we got snow on Thanksgiving. We had to uh, cancel our Thanksgiving and do it the next day because we don't drive in snow. Like, like that's there was a couple inches. That, yeah, we got a couple inches. And, and uh, people out here, we, we don't know how to drive in snow. It's not a thing we do. The whole town shuts down. Yes, Megan, my people. Pumpkin pie is nasty. Yuck. It's like a cuss word you never say. <laughs> I love you. Uh, Cecilia says Santa Dan's cool, but Crystal rocks. Thanks. <laughs> you know, this whole channel was Dan's idea. I Hold wouldn't on. be here right now if not for Dan. Hold on. Now, okay, now the second person. Now Lily CK says Dan not washing his robe. That's gross. So now Marco's increased his hate for my robe by 100%. Is this, is this? Because he was he, asking if you wash this with your robe. Is, I don't think this has ever been washed either. Is this how it starts? This hasn't been washed either. It's only been worn on screen. And I don't smell on screen. <laughs> it's just a fact. Do I smell like candy cane? <laughs> okay. If well, that's what you want to tell yourself. Marco's trying to start a revolution. Um, those lines that you see, by the way, um, that's me. That's not your guys. On this camera over here, that's my, that's my camera's dying i'm sorry it's it's kind of being deal funky. with it look at the other it's camera. kind of being funky i love that perfect ball by the way do you yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, mouse queen with the super chat says crystal how could you pumpkin pie rocks okay but do you eat it with no whipped cream on it do you eat it all by itself or do you have to put whipped cream on it because if you have to put whipped cream, whipped cream on it it's not really that good is it uh, i see multiple people saying uh texas shuts down when it snows too yeah when you live in a hot climate it's like, we do cold. It gets cold and windy here for sure. Not like snowy cold, icy cold, but it, it gets cold for sure. But you know, we, we, don't, we don't really function in snow. Two. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, Jess says, it blows my mind how many people don't understand spirit hood robes. All you people who want to wash them daily, don't buy them. Washing them that much ruins them. I have not washed a single one of my spirit hoods. Yeah, and it's not like it's underwear. Like, it's not going up against your skin. So You don't know what I do when you're not home. You're right, I don't. <laughs> I do not. But I can tell you, I have some blankets on my couch. The ones that are on the ends of the couch. <coughs> with, with nine cats, you have to put blankets on your couch or you're vacuuming your couch every day. Um, they were amazing when I got them. They were the softest, most amazing blankets ever. The first time I washed them, they turned to just clumpy grossness. And it was very similar to uh, the texture and the softness of the Spirit Hood robe. So I imagine they just get kind of gross. Uh, Amanda says, my mom asked if Crystal's Christmas card came in the mail yet. She's waiting for it. No, it went out this morning. I handed it to the mailman myself. A big old stack of postcards. So you should get them hopefully within a week. I don't know. USPS has kind of been sucking lately. Oh, your mama asking for the card? If you guys um, don't get it within like a month of sending it to us, let me know. Yeah, but, but give it a little extra time. Camera 2 is not having a good time tonight. I'm sorry. It is what it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> a mouse queen with a super chat mumbles, yes, I do. Sniffs. The whipped cream is a choice. A choice I'm happy to make. But what if I told you you could have pumpkin roll and you don't need any whipped cream because it comes with its own cream cheese frosting all filled in the middle of it and it's amazing. You don't need, put, put the whipped cream away. It's not really that good anyway. 
Try the pumpkin roll. The Perfecto 39 asked if we got a Christmas tree up. Yeah, on our wall. <laughs> yeah. Kathy, we have too many cats. The I'm gonna see if I can... Take uh, it down. It's locked up. Don't worry, it's locked. You know what? I'll take it away because you guys are gonna have a meltdown. Yep, Marco knows. Whipped cream, blah. Yep, it's not even that good. It's just like sugar water. Come on. Get some cream cheese in there. <coughs> Who doesn't love a good cream cheese frosting? Come on now. Okay, so we're going to mix this with a quarter teaspoon of salt. What are you doing, Mooch? Always measure your salt over the sink because it pours out way too fast and you don't want to ruin your recipe. So I'm gonna try to spread that evenly in there and get that mixed up before I add my wet ingredients. I think I brought it back to life. Did you? Hooray. It's only at 30 frames per second, but you, you at home won't notice. And Jody says, well, I can't do cream cheese, but we'll eat it anyway. Is there not a like dairy free? Is it the dairy that's the thing? Is there a dairy free option? Can't you do things? There's, there's gotta be something at this point. There's dairy free everything. Hannah with the super chat, thank you so much. I'm not saying I don't like cream cheese frosting, but you're wrong about whipped cream. ha ha ha, I'm not. And you do like cream cheese frosting because you've made my carrot cake with the amazing cream cheese frosting. So don't, you, you do like it. And it's better than whipped cream. Whether you like whipped cream or not, you have to admit a good cream cheese frosting is better than any whipped cream. It oh. is, it just is. What are you doing? I don't know if I can bring myself to throw this broken like $40 cable away. I'll throw it away for you. I love throwing things away, Dan. It makes me happy. Did you guys hear it? I threw it away hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, three quarter cups of heavy whipping cream. This is on here. No, it's not. It's because you're wearing a Santa sweater. Maybe, maybe if I shake the balls a little. I assure you it is not hot in here. Oh, well. Can you put this back in the fridge on the top shelf, please, and thank you? Yeah, not on the top of the fridge. No, I have to look for it. He's been known to do that. Have I done that? Have I put something on? I have, what have I put on the top of the fridge? The heavy cream. The he that's right. <laughs> Just like, was that was a long time ago. Like Not that, no, that was this year when you bought the heavy cream for my recipe and I came home to make my recipe and the, the heavy cream was on top of the fridge. Oh, yeah, that's oh, right. Oh, yeah. That was like in the summertime. Yep, and uh, it had been up there for hours and you had to go to the store and get new heavy cream. Because that's not a risk I'm willing to take. No, not at all. Not even a little bit. Oh my god. No, food poisoning is no fun. Getting sick off of spoiled milk is no fun. No, not risks I'm willing to take. So before I put this on the fire, I'm just trying to mix this up so it's a better consistency so I don't burn the milk or the sugar. <laughs> F-Van. <laughs> not even going to read it out loud. <laughs> Mouse with a super chat. White Christmas by Regis Philbin. Oh, Blair's in Pil the background. That's Pilbin. Oh, there's an H. Pil Pil Pilbin. Can't hear ya, Crystal! Mm -hmm. Enjoy your sad piece of pie under a pile of uh, Not hiding the flavor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's that thing where, like, if you make a steak well enough, I'm a vegetarian, but I hear it's a thing. Um, if you make a steak well enough, you don't have to put any sauce on it. You can just eat it because it's delicious, right? If you like season the stuff. Uh, Brittany says, I second. Food poisoning sucks. It really does. Are you feeling better, friend? Oh, Eileen. 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 Says, uh, cream cheese frosting rules. There you are correct. Especially on red velvet cake. I made red velvet cake once. I was not impressed. Not even a little bit. But have you had buttercream frosting? Yes, I have. I've had all the frosting. I love frosting. <laughs> I love frosting more than I love cake. Like, I don't, I, don't I, I can do it without cake. Can I just have a pile of frosting? Can this go away? Thanks. All right, so now I've got my brown sugar and salt mixed with my heavy cream. I threw six tablespoons of butter in here and it's going on the heat. We're gonna stir this constantly until it comes to a boil, reduce it to low, and simmer at a light boil for 15 minutes. So it looks like we're hanging out and chatting some more. Could have started this half an hour ago, but here we are. Um, Mouse Queen with the super chat, Dan, am I gonna have to give you an old fashioned lesson in f, 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 
for phonics? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, like I said, I, I got ordered the le legit hooked on phonics during the legit hooked on phonics time, and it didn't work for me. Also, it was pretty much <laughs> hooked on phonics didn't work for me. It was so many cassettes too. Like it came and it was like this big book of cassettes of so. Intense. But it was audio. You prefer audio to visual, so I'm, no. I'm a visual person. Also, it didn't <laughs> matter. It was cool, but yeah, it stayed. There was this like I had a two story house. Well, I didn't, but like that's where I slumbered. And underneath the stairs. That's where your mom lets you stay? In the Harry Potter closet? Yeah, in the Harry Potter closet, it lived in there. You really had a Harry Potter closet? Yeah, it was underneath the stairs it. on the other side. It was cool. Uh, Afriel says, frosty on graham crackers rules. Yes, it does. That is amazing. I love it when there's leftover frosting, and then you can just dip the graham crackers in it. Mm, so good. Oh, hey, well, how's that? What are you doing over here? I make no guarantees, but I might be able to take us on a field trip. Hopefully, it's it looks just like it did over there right now. I cleaned the stove today. Oh, thanks. Actually, it was like ninety percent clean. I think Terry might have done it like two days ago because I only had a wipe off. But I'm taking the I'm taking the credit now. That's fair. I don't think I'm cooking the stove this week. Stove. Is that butter? It is. It's oh six my gosh. tablespoons of butter. What a glorious death for the butter. You can't have butterscotch without butter, Dan. Oh my. Oh me. Oh my. Uh, Mousekwitz Super Chat says, Lops Phonics Book of Dan. <laughs> uh, Hannah says, Can we pause and take it, it? Can we pause and take it that phonetically it's not spelled phonetically? Phonics is not spelled phonetically. <laughs> yes. It is not. Frosting on pretzels are good. They are. And gummies, too. I, I always get gummies covered in chocolate when Crystal makes the pretzels. That's, chocolate's not the same as frosting. Oh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> Different things. Oh, are you on the couch eating that? Is that like what you're doing? What? Like right now? No, like, is that what Megan, frosting on pretzels are good? Is that what you're doing, Megan? What kitten was on top of the stove today? Uh, did you top post, did you post today? Topo standing on there? Yeah, I posted Topo a couple of days ago. Was there, is that what you mean? With the kitten uh, on the stove? I don't know. Are you talking about because I removed a hair? Because, <laughs> hi, welcome to my house. So we're just melting this down. We gotta get this butter melted. You can already see it's becoming more liquefied. And we want to stir this constantly until it comes to a full boil. Like I said, well, at some point we're gonna add some baking soda. So I do need my baking soda and a half a teaspoon. Can you find me that one, Dan? Uh, you want a half a teaspoon? I do want a half a teaspoon. How about an eighth of a teaspoon? Nope. Okay. I see a super chat over there, Dan, but I can't read it from here. Okay, it's from Chris. Oh, hold on, head. I mean, Chris. Oh, <laughs> let me grab that. What do you want? You wanted baking what? Baking soda. Baking soda. And vanilla extract. Oh. I'm put that over here. Oh, this the clear stuff? Okay. And, and, then and a quarter teaspoon when you get a chance. Uh -huh. Sorry, I didn't prep you well, great, man. I, I found it. Great. Thanks. Quarter. Bam. Oh, Chris with the super chat. Thank you so much. Hold on, I want to read Ellen's super chat. Pumpkin roll with cream cheese frosting is awesome. That sounds good too. Uh, Chris in the super chat, thank you so much, Fred. You can't have butterscotch without butter. By that logic, you also can't have it without scotch. Drink up, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> Valid point. <laughs> I like McAllen. <laughs> we need CST vlogs. What's that? Oh, cat vlogs. Um, RFS cats on Instagram. And I post some stuff on my Instagram, too. And to be fair, most of the RFS Cat stuff does come from you. You just don't post it. We're you live. just send it to me and I post it. We did over 34 days of live streaming this year, so there's plenty of live cat content. <laughs> the around. cats make it in quite a few of the lives. Uh-huh. They do. They do. All right, so my butter is almost gone. This looks beautiful. I'm sure it tastes even more amazing. Oh, I bet. I bet. Uh, Mouse Queen Super Chat, thank you so much. All this ribbing, so much fun. Can't promise I'll make it on the 23rd, but I'll definitely try. Let if you try. can't, um, make sure you watch the replay, because it's a special episode with uh, with special things happening in the episode, so it's going to be a lot of fun. There'll be a lot of giveaways, too. Yeah, we'll, we are we'll doing be, a bunch of yeah, giveaways. Yeah, we'll be doing a bunch of giveaways on that night, too. Speaking of giveaways, did you have something you were giving away tonight? Uh, yeah, are you hanging out there for a minute? Yeah, I'm okay. waiting for this to come to a boil, and then I have to cook it for 15 more minutes after okay. that. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, what do I have? I have a sti I have sticker sets. 
We can give away a sticker set. So what we're gonna What's do? In the sticker set, Dave? What we're gonna do right now? Uh, some of you might already have the sticker sets, but there's a new sticker for the sticker set. Some of you haven't seen these ones. These are the ones I made for Novi. There's a Gundam in there. There's only a few left. Uh, there's like a Gundam Dan on there. Uh, there's a Getty Bake with Crystal stickers. That one says Let's Bake shit. Um, <laughs> there's a Getty Bake with Crystal sticker sticker. Maybe yours are older, wiped out, and you need a new set. You can win a new set. There is a holographic Dan, and there's a Dan magnet. So you will actually get a magnet for your fridge, and there's an RFS fam sticker. Ah, what does RFS mean? RFS is Random Friend Squad. If you go on YouTube and type in Random Friend Squad, you'll see a collab channel that a bunch of my friends and I did about, it'll be 10 years in January, we did it on YouTube. We're about to have our 10th anniversary, and we just did fun stuff. There was like five of us, and we rotated out days of the week. So um, when I made my new YouTube channel like seven years ago or so, um, I think I put like RFS Dan is just me from Random Friend Squad, and then it stuck. So here we are. And now it's the RFS fam. Now it's the or? RFS fam, yes. All right. So I already have all those plus a few others, but do you have the new Gundam? Kore wa Gundam sticker desu. So, yes. So there you go. So here's how you're going to win. I'm going to pick a card here. It's going to have a number on it. Uh, Master with the Super Chat, thank you so much. We have plans with the family that night, but if I can break away, I'll pop by. Yeah, sure, no problem. And like I said, if you can't, uh, just, grab a just grab the replay, friend. All right. Here's, um, I have some stickers and magnets of Dan I can scalp. Oh, Marco is already in. <laughs> Look, Marco, I don't want to ruin your game. I can wait and see if there's any bidders. <laughs> uh, we have this. If you already have, if you win and you already have the sticker set, we'll, we'll, I don't know, I'll send you something. All right, so I'm going to pick a card with a number on it. I picked it. And between 1 and 100 in the chat, I would like you to uh, guess what number I have in my hand. Can I see the number? And the first person to guess correctly on this number will win the sticker set while Crystal is doing it. Sally says 44. Christine says 36. Nope. 1684. Watch out. They're going to start coming fast. They're going to start coming They're going to start coming real fast. 34, 18, 33, 11, 24. No one. 96. No. 73 is not the winner. <laughs> All right. Oh, my stuff is boiling, so I'm going to turn it down too low. Uh-huh. Oh, and my gosh. What did I do? And light boil for 15 minutes. What did I do? Oh, I haven't seen the number yet. Nope. Nope. That's not it. Too many numbers on the screen. At a time. You so many numbers. Down. So many numbers. Oh, what the... Yes. Oh, my gosh. I saw it. Somebody already got it. Somebody already got it. Hold on. Let me scroll back up and see who got that first. Hold on. Let me see who got that first. But we have a winner, and it's not you. <laughs> it's somebody. Oh my gosh, these things went too fast. I didn't realize there were going to be so many numbers. Yeah, you shouldn't have maybe done that while I'm over here. Just as <laughs> I should have messaged it to her so she could help. Okay, hold on. Let me find it. You better go all the way up to the top and make sure you didn't miss it. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, Tia, Tia Matt with 68 got it right first. And let me go up above and see if anybody else got it right first. <laughs> if anybody got it right before that. I see 58, 82s, <coughs> 69s, 88s, 69 again. So close, no 68s. 666, six, six. no, it's not that. Yeah, so there you go. I think uh, you are the winner. Bam. Let me go uh, scroll back up. You should have to be the nurse second to help. I know, right? Uh, the number was 68. So who did I say got that one right first? Uh, Tia something. Yeah. I see, him, I, I see them chatting. In the there you go. Tia Matt. There you Tia go. Matt? Bam. Yes. Okay. So sweet. Yes. So DM me on Facebook or Instagram, and I will send you out a, uh, a sticker set, an RFS sticker set. Since you're new here, yeah, you'll get one of every. I'll just give you one of everything that I have for the stuff. Uh, yeah, there you go. Congra congratulations! Damn, I missed it by that much as one of the 69s. I know, that's what you get for being funny. So stop slapping keyboard. I know there was, there was too many, uh, there was too many entries. I love it. Okay, Crystal, how's it? I need to update over there, please. Okay, so this came to a boil. Yes. We turned the heat down to low. We're simmering at a light boil for 15 minutes, stirring every few minutes to eliminate any boil skin from forming. Ew, nobody wants boil skin. So I guess I should stop stirring constantly and let it boil a little bit. After the 15 minutes is up, we are going to add the baking soda, remove it from the heat and mix that in really well. Then we're going to stir in the vanilla and the powdered sugar and keep mixing until the sugar is well incorporated. Dan, do you want to help? 
No, uh, yeah, okay. What am I doing? Am I putting Molo in? I think I did. No, no, no. That's that's the right, eggnog start. fudge. No, no, no. I need you to get me the biggest Red Bull. Thank you. And we need to measure out and sift the powdered sugar. But you sounded scared, so I'll just do that. Oh, I can do it. I can do it. You want me to? No, I can do it. I'm only supposed to stir that every few minutes. Okay. Thank you, though. All right. I'm just going to open the new bag because I'm going to need it. Uh, Team Matt says, thank you, thank you. Yay. Mm -hmm. I'm excited yeah, for you. I posted I hope you a like craft I made on RFS Fam Group. You can show the picture on camera. Okay. okay. Yes. Um. At some point, there'll be a break point, right? And then we'll do all that stuff. Like, like we can do stuff. Okay. Yeah. Remind me. Remind me again, and we'll like pull it up and stuff. Can you also get me out the glass eight by eight square pan? Yeah. Do you know which one that is? That's the one that Brownie's going. Well, I need the glass one though. All right, so it was a cup and a half of sugar. We're gonna sift this because we don't want any uh, lumps in it. They're gonna be hard to uh, whisk out, but if you sift it, then it's, it's a it? better result. That is it. Good job, you Dan. Just need one. Yes. And I will also need parchment paper. Please and thank you. You're gonna write a letter. No, it's parchment. No, no. <laughs> No, Dan. I hate measuring out powdered sugar because it always gets everywhere. Close enough. Three. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. If it's the biggest Red Bull, is it a Super Bowl? I see what you did there. Oh, wait. Hey, you have to get out of there. All of you. Yes, I know there's such thing as a flour sifter, but I like to use the mesh strainer because it works better and it's easier to clean. I actually own a flour sifter and I don't really like it. Uh, Mouse Queen with the super chat. Thank you so much. It's a young, yummy world made for sweethearts. Take a walk with your favorite girl. It's a sugar date when spring is late. In winter, it's a marshmallow world. Are you singing that one? Is that a singing is song? Is that a song? Thank you, Mouse Queen. I don't know. It kind of seems like it would be songy. It was nice. It was. It was. It was very poetic. <laughs> Auntie Ash says, "Sure does like glitter." Oh, what was that? I heard something snap. Apparently, I'm making static. Oh, what was that? It zapped my arm. The bowl zapped my arm. Oh, that was so fun. Again, thank you, Mouse Queen, for the super chat. Like <laughs> that was a good zap. I did not like that. Oh, oh it's zapping it again. Show? Yeah, it's. Making... Oh, this is great. No, it's oh. not. It's that vinyl mat underneath your feet. Is that the problem? Yep. Oh, I never had that happen before. That's that flavor. It's your electric personality. Uh, Dora says, are all of these tried and true recipes or are you trying new ones for the holidays? Um, so obviously I've made roughly 50 new recipes over the last year. Probably a little less than that new recipes. Um, I am adding in some new ones that I haven't sent out before, but I have made them before. The crock pot candy I have not made before. That's a new one. That's gonna be a new one. But even as recently as a couple weeks ago at Thanksgiving you, stream, you made these cookies that made your list. Yes, the uh, salted brownie cookies. Those were really good and everybody has been a fan of them. So those are going on the Christmas baking list this year. We have about eight and a half more minutes of uh, low boil on this butterscotch. So buttery and scotchy and it burned my tongue. It's so amazing. It was really hot. <laughs> Mouse Queen says, it's electrifying. It is. <laughs> Crystal, the electric baker. <laughs> oh, that really did burn my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Cat tongue. F Vance says, I don't have stickers. Do you still have them for sale? Uh, the site's not up, but yeah, uh, I could. We we sold them we sold like most of last them, like, year. Yeah, we're almost out, so I could um, probably re up on but them. Come hang out with us on the twenty third. I we're doing lots and lots of giveaways. Yeah, I've been trying to give away some, so uh, I'll give away I'll give away another one. I know I have at least like four or five sets of stickers, but I, you know at this point I think everybody got almost got them. <laughs> not at Fanth, apparently. Uh, Yerling Chang says, "How long have you guys known Jess and her husband?" 
I'm not good with math. 2015 so or so. 2014, Some years and stuff. 15. Uh, let's go with like. I don't know. Memphis was like two. So like, let's go with like seven, maybe Someone seven. Someone will do years. that math for seven you. Seven years. Can you get the super chats, Dan? Yeah, I could get the super chats. Um. Crystal, the new Thor. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvia says it's heating up. It is. Um. Y'all better know. Oh, wait, hold on. I've lost. I've lost the chat already. Hold Did on, you I'm, coming back. Away? I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Just says so like seven years. 2015 was, yeah, it was like 2015. It was like right when my, it was like right after my YouTube channel started. Or this, this version of the YouTube channel. There's plenty different YouTube channels before this. Hey, on Super Chat, thank you so much. Y'all better know I asked Crystal for a recipe last year after trying the Georgia pralines. They were so good. Oh, yeah, and you're making more pralines, right? I'm making the double batch of them this year. Yeah, those were really good. Those were so easy to put, like, six of it eight in your mouth. Mm -hmm. they were, yeah, they're really good. They're, yeah. And they're super easy to make. They look calorie heavy, though. It's like only sugar. And nuts. <laughs> nuts are healthy, right? Nuts are nuts healthy. Are healthy. Yes, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, Mouse with super chat, thank you so much. And yes, that was a song earlier called Marshmallow World. I like it. Uh, me too. I like Mallow everything. <laughs> yeah, just says I think twenty fifteen was when we met. Yes, yes. We got about six more minutes on this. Sylvia says, "Will you guys be at One Fiends with Snow Dogs?" Uh, ask that again. I'm not quite sure what you're saying, but I think I kind of know what you're saying. So ask me, uh, like, reword that. But, like, I'll see Jess, like, in November for Novi, but I don't know what before then. Something always comes up. Oh, yeah, we'll be in Dallas. Uh, Hila Husky says, I posted a thank you so much for the super chat. I posted a video of my painting on my channel. Awesome. But is it, like, you just, like, paint? Is, it's what, uh, that's right. You said it was the painting that uh, Crystal recommended. Awesome. I'll check that out. Hello, Doris. Dan, oh, oh, don't worry, there's no boil skin on my butterscotch. Yay! Good. <laughs> I know you're concerned. All right. I've been watching them since they brought home Memphis. You predate me. Like I said, the first few months I knew Jess, I thought she was like a grandma, like the grandma from Katie Bird. Because <laughs> uh, I never saw her in the dog's videos, and she would just talk about her dogs. And so I didn't, I didn't know. Don't touch this. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, is that Canadian water fountain a uh, hand me down from Michigan? If it's not, it's at least the same type. No, it's a little bit of a different. It's a little bit of a different, but it's got like the little waterfall on it, and the cats the cats loved it. I've had like three of them now, and that one I think might be my favorite one back there. I agree. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it has it has holes in it in the shape of a star, and I, I heart stars. So <laughs> it's it's, it's a cute one. Yeah, I I do like that. Kid your butt to Alpina. I was just there. I was I was just there. Just an old grandma. Yeah. That's what I thought Jess was. I think one of the first like few videos I watched, one of the dogs ate an Xbox game and I watched it from like a security camera. Cause it was just like cause Jess was like running the YouTube group and I was in it and I was just like, I guess I should see what like what you're up to. But it wasn't like my thing. Like like it wasn't, it was dog, it was like pet content. We're, we're cat people. Yeah, so not even like that, like it was just pet content and I was doing like silly stuff and other things. So I would watch the video and I'd be like, oh, like the dogs do the things. Um, but I didn't pay too much attention. I just thought, like I said, I just thought Jess was. Adele says to scrunch up the baking paper, it will fit in better. Um, I don't want to on this because it's going to go in here warm. So I'm going to pour it in the center and let it like form itself because I don't want it to be all crunchy up on the bottom and make like, yeah. Fair enough. I yeah. guess I'm going to cover it in chocolate. I don't know. Uh, that's a, yeah. Let me think on it. Uh -huh. I like it. Uh, Firestar coming to Jess and say, you're not old Jess, you're beautiful. Don't tell, don't give hey, her a big head. old and beautiful are not mutually exclusive. Don't exclusive. give her a big head. Don't, don't give her a big hit. Uh, Doris with a super, super chat. Thank you so much, Doris. Thank I hope you, Doris. Yep, I hope you're doing well. I seem to be missing more live streams than normal lately. Crazy life. That's that's what happens. Uh, happy holidays to you both. Thanks for all the laughs and happiness this year. Wishing you all the best in 2023. Thank you so much for the super chat. Like I said, YouTube sent me the analytics, and we did over 34 days of live streaming. 
It was a lot of hours. So if you want to watch everything we've done, hours. set aside a month, take a month off work. More than that. And just binge all of our stuff. Wow. And that's only the live stuff. That had nothing to do with any of the other videos. So thank you so much, Doris. That didn't even count your food reviews? Was that this year? No. And because Doris, that actually qualified uh, us to uh, have pizza delivered. So thank you so much for putting <laughs> me over the edge. And delivered, I, huh? I don't now have to go buy. I now don't have to get in the car. It's cold out. And drive it is cold out. to Domino. So thank you so much for that. Thank you. So, Huskymon Barnacle said, uh, pop in to say hi, hi. My cousin and I are making crystal chocolate chip cookie recipe tonight. Awesome. Yay! Don't forget to put the little cups on them and swirl them around. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, everything just rolled up to the top. Okay, back to the back to the bottom down. I watched them even if I missed the lives. Yay for your pizza. Oh, thanks, Doris. And no problem. Like, we're always going to be here. So, people come, people go. You know, I know right like when the pandemic started lightening up a little bit, everybody felt so guilty. They'd send me messages and they'd apologize. Like, I'm, not, I'm sorry. I'm like, oh everybody my gosh. stuck at home and got used to just being here with us yeah, for our lives for right, all that right. time. And everybody felt so close to us that they felt so personal. Like, we don't mess. Even even Huskies in the Hatch was like, I didn't, I'm didn't. i not tuning in tonight for the stream, but tell Crystal, like, like you know, good luck and stuff. Like, <laughs> like it's like, it's okay. Aww. You know, it's okay. But I think it's fantastic. I think it's cool. And like, you know, you can go and you can come back and... We're constantly here. Come in, we're here. Yep, we'll be here for another full year of live streaming next year. Our contract's been renewed. Nice. So as long as you guys keep showing up, we'll, we'll keep doing it. And uh, well, we were doing it before anybody showed up. Did you see that? Anybody see that picture I posted from how many years ago was it that it said that we were live streaming? Was it thir Did it say it was thirteen years ago? Was it something like that? that yeah. It, yeah, we were live streaming right here. In Dif this different. Very... Well, same. Same house, different kitchen. Different kitchen, but we were live streaming right here. So, uh, what's your cat's name? Oh my gosh, it's like Ted. There's Mucha Kamiko and Rizzo and Tails. No, no, no more Mr. Aww. Tails. <laughs> well, there was Tails. There was Tails. Uh, there's Kitty, three unnamed cats, a Topo. Did I say Topo? Oh my gosh. Yeah, but you did forget one. Mooch? Nope. You? No. Uh, which one? Precious. Oh, and Precious. Oh, precious. Yes, oh, our other orange cats. One. He's so quiet, that. you forgot all oh, about it. Oh, they're on Blake's bed, and like four of them are sleeping in there. So, they're not here. Okay, I have to, thank you so much, make pizza happen, because we all have to eat dinner. We do. I have a teenager in the bedroom. Yeah. He's Dan, he's not a teenager, he's an adult. Aww. He's old enough to buy alcohol legally. Aww. <laughs> he is, huh? He is. <laughs> I offered him a shot last night. He had a rough day yesterday, and I offered him a shot last no, night. No, didn't do and not I didn't give even my have kid to alcohol. Feel bad. He's 21. He's not a child. He doesn't. You need... can legally offer a 21 year old a shot. The he next thing you know, he's gonna be a hobo. <laughs> hobo and down with a stick. With One a shot stick. of vodka. Next thing you know, you're a hobo with a stick. Oh no. Okay, so it had been 15 minutes of boiling this at a simmer. We are good to add our baking soda now. Okay, baking soda was half a teaspoon. Patty says, I can't believe Blake is all grown up. I know, right? You guys, Blake's going to North Dakota for two weeks, and he's not going to be here for Christmas or New Year's, and it's so weird, but, like, he's an adult. He can do that. Like, you're, you're allowed. You're an adult. You can, you can leave your parents for the holidays, but he's leaving all, like, on his own without adults. But he is an adult, so it's weird. It's all just so weird. And I'm sure he can hear me and he's just cringing in there. Okay, add the baking soda. Remove from heat and mix it in well. Here I go. Cheese pizza, please. Okay. Order. You get your own right. cheese pizza. That's going to have to last you through all these days of baking. Uh huh. Okay, you guys can see the baking soda kind of makes it like foam up a little bit. Uh, one time on the show, I made uh, basically like a crunchy bar, which is also called sea foam candy, I think. And it kind of does the same thing where you add the baking soda and it foams up. But this is only a little bit, so it's, it doesn't foam up quite as much. But look, I made like a butterscotch volcano. Yay. Ooh, it's breathing. I don't know how well you can see this. It looks a little blown out. It's more uh, caramelly colored in real life. That camera kind of has a, a little like blown out lighting. Okay, so I stirred that in well. 
Next, stir in the vanilla and the confectioner's sugar. Keep mixing until the sugar is well incorporated. I hope this pan is big. I think this is the one I usually use. We'll find out. It does say don't skimp on the size of the pan. <laughs> They're not kidding. Gold. When I say they, I mean a, ooh, ooh, that was way too much vanilla. They is my Aunt Terry who sent me this recipe. All right, so we stir in that vanilla. And then we're going to try not to make a mess as we add the powdered sugar. And stirring in the powdered sugar kind of takes down that fluff that the baking soda gave it, but don't worry, it'll be fine. It's still got kind of lumpy, even though I sifted my powdered sugar. So I'm gonna try to stir it up enough to get the lumps out. And then as soon as this is fully mixed and all the powdered sugar is unlumpified, then we're gonna add the extra, I think it was a half a cup of brown sugar. And the recipe specifically says then and not a moment before. And you have to trust what Aunt Terry says. She knows what she's talking about. My Aunt Terry learned from her Italian from Italy grandma how to cook and bake. And I have uh, adopted many of her recipes. So butterscotchy. Sorry, I'm uh, I'm uh, pizza. -ing. I'm getting us some fuel so we can keep. I know, and I can't really see the chat. Oh, you're kind of you kind of left me hanging. They can talk amongst themselves for a little bit. All right, entertain yourselves. That was one thing I liked about Nova is uh, a lot of names in the chat were there talking amongst themselves. Nice. Yeah, that made me happy. So this starts to get really creamy. There's still a few more lumps in here, so uh, I'm just gonna kill my arm for a little bit longer trying to get all these lumps out. Oh my God, this smells so good. Can you guys smell it from over there? Yeah. Uh huh. This, oh, smells, yeah. this smells like warm buttery goodness in here. Like it is warm buttery goodness. This is like butter, warm butter and warm sugar. A top top five favorite smells in the world. Right up there with uh, hot clean hair, like fresh clean hair and right. a blowout. So okay. you can kind of see what it's doing here on the side. Um, how like the the consistency of it. It's kind of like caramelly consistency ish, I guess. Um, okay, so then to this we are adding the half a cup of brown sugar that we set aside that I didn't actually set aside, but I have it, don't you worry. Uh, Hannah, I will get to your super chat. I have to hurry, this is time sensitive and Dan has left the room. All right, half a cup of brown sugar. We're gonna stir that in. Anna said, no worries, friend. Oh my God. And so it starts to get almost a little like grainy here. So like when it, when it sets, it's almost like crumbly grainy. I don't even know how to describe it. It's so amazing. So good. Uh, my Aunt Terry, she actually this year also sent me a box of her cookies, but several years ago she sent a box of cookies, and much like Hannah with my Georgia pralines, I messaged her and was like, what is that? I need the recipe. And she sent me the recipe, like, a bunch of bunch of years ago. Uh, 2014, she emailed it to me. I should really write it down. I did make the recipe cards for it. If you guys want this recipe, this is not going to be on the Pinterest page. <laughs> Uh, I did try to search to see if there was a recipe on Pinterest for this, and they were all a little bit different. I didn't want to try a little bit different. I wanted my Aunt Terry's recipe. 
So I made my own recipe cards. You guys can find that. Um, I don't know if, yeah, Dan did post those. But they're on the community tab here. And they're on uh, Getting Baked with Crystal on Instagram and uh, the Getting Baked with Crystal Facebook group. Okay, so now we pour this in. And you kind of need to do this quickly because it does start to set pretty quickly. Um, like the initial setting. So you just pour it in, guys. While you're pouring, lift up your right leg. Thank you. Sorry, I had to think in my you're head which one was you're right. Fine. <laughs> you're fine. Here. Ow! Oh! It's hot, Dan. Lava. Mm hmm. Are you awesome? Yes. You can have the rest of it if you'd like. Can okay. you take this and put it back on the stove? Cool. Yep. Are you done over here? I am. Hi, everybody. I hope you're having a great Friday night. There's a lot of people here. There's 145 people here, which means. About 45, about 40, 45 people of you are new because, you know, everybody else is always here, like filed in new seats. So hello, happy Friday, uh, welcome. Again, if you're new here, um, we do game shows and other fun stuff here, so hit that subscribe button. And then yes, I'm, I hope you're enjoying what you see tonight, I'm sure you are. How it's, you not yeah, we're having a happy Friday. We are waiting for pizza to show up so you get to watch this mukbang pizza. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Crystal, can I lick the pot too? You can lick the pot too. I'm I'm done with all of the making of this. That's Terry. Terry. There's nothing left in the pot. Hi, it's me. It's I'm Terry, yeah. but I'm not Aunt Terry. I'm not the one with the, with the <laughs> no. recipes from the Italian side because I am half of a Mexican. Mm -hmm. I like to collect Terry's in my life. I've got a few of them. Uh, this one lives with us. She makes amazing meat for Dan because Dan does not know how to cook meat, but Terry is really good at cooking meat. Mm -hmm. okay, I got my way around a piece of meat. Uh, so I'm just trimming the parchment paper because I don't want it to get like bumped and and mess up the stuff in the pan. And I'm just going to leave this to cool on the counter to room temperature. And then overnight I'm going to put it in the fridge. Get down in the, get in the corner. Get in there. You guys can see it's already starting to set a little bit. It does not have to be pretty because you're gonna cut it into squares and cover it with chocolate. And it matters more that it tastes good, than it looks good. This one I've been making in my Christmas baking for several years. Um, I don't have a mouse, oh, I do have a mouse, it's just covered. What kind of for you? Hannah super chatted and we missed it because we were busy. Oh, hi Hannah, wherever, wherever you are. The cats oh, really love the ago. the cats really love the little hanging toys that you sent. Oh, they do! They're, they've almost destroyed one of them. <laughs> they, they play with them all the time in the cat. Dan said, "It's okay. You can knit it back together." I did say that this afternoon. First of all, I'm pretty sure it's crochet, not knit, of which I do neither. <laughs> you can do it. You just like I can sew it back together. But you do everything like this, and then it just happens. I can I can do something. I had it with a super chat like a while ago thank you so much speaking of drinking i'm 198 days sober that's a long time it is, nice. is. i remember when you were like nine days sober so congratulations for making it 198 days yeah good job Rachel. athena says i'll be 40 in march welcome to the club hey amanda listen, at 42 you get to have the 21st anniversary of your 21st birthday it's true you go. Do. amanda says i am bach uh, Lily C.K. says, you mean honeycomb candy. Yes, it is called honeycomb candy in some places. Some places it's called seafoam candy. Right. Um, and it is actually sold um, in other countries as a crunchy bar. These are amazing. Linda has sent us a bajillion of these. Thank you so much, Linda. I don't know if you're here tonight, but um, one of my favorite candy bars. I had it once and learned how to make it. <laughs> I just frizzed it that way. Uh, Tristan's getting pizza too. Eddie and Sam's best in Tampa. I don't know nothing about that. Uh, let me get back down to what? I thought there was another super chat here. I'm trying to find it. And Patty says, I collect Jennifer's and Crystal's. <laughs> There's a theme. Um, and also, Terry's middle name is the middle name of my best friend from middle school like spelled exactly the same way like there's weird overlap and i don't know if everybody has this in their life but there's always weird overlap in What's life your like name? that rhythms 
Jean? Jean, like DNA. Oh, Would weird, because I'm also wearing jeans. It's wrong de- different wrong kind jean. of jean. <laughs> wrong jean. That's the wrong jean. Uh, PJ with the super chat wants to know, hey, Terry, are you familiar with kielbasa? Yes, <laughs> yes, I told him with sauerkraut. Um, I like it with sauerkraut, and I also like it with on top of my mac and cheese. Do you know that I made it once? In, like, fourth grade, we had to pick a country and make a food from that country. Which Blake also had to do, um, he was smart, he did it for his Spanish class and picked a Spanish-speaking country. Uh, we, made, we made flan. Nice. Because that's more, that's more our pace. I don't really like flan, though. Um, but I made pulsa cabasa and brought it into my fourth grade class. I don't know if they appreciated it. I still ate meat back then. I ate it. I liked it. I like it. Uh, Brittany says, I collect errands. Married one and dated one. Um, I've dated, like, four different Jasons, and my brother's name is Jason. There's been a lot of Jasons in my life. I'm done with Jasons. If your name's Jason, I'm sorry. You gotta go. I have a lot of Jasons and Sarahs, and like still Jasons yeah. and Sarahs. Yep. All right, so here we go. That's that's all that I can do for this. Again, not very pretty on the top. Does not matter. It's gonna set. We're gonna cut it into tiny little squares. If you guys make these, you want to cut them into smaller squares than you think you do. Like you want a big chunk, but no, you don't. You're gonna cover it with chocolate, and that's gonna make it thicker. So tiny little squares and cover it with chocolate, and then that's it. And then you just let it set. Tomorrow on the show, I'm not sure whether we'll actually cover with cover this with chocolate but I will at least cut some up and show it to you guys we'll see how the timing goes and stuff and things did you take out the trash no I brought the trash can up oh but you never actually took out the trash no 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 that was the important part so I had an empty trash can for super baking band so are we, are we, is that it for baking tonight? Are we no, baking? I have to make a peanut butter cookie dough. Oh, we're okay. already at 7.30, but no worries. We're hanging out, guys. I, I'm going to be here all night. Um, I do need to take five and run to the little streamer's room again, if you wouldn't mind coming and entertaining the masses for a moment. Uh, I do see there's still 147 people here. Thank you guys all so much. Mm-hmm. Um, both to the regulars and the people who are new here, I hope that you guys like what you see. We're lots of fun and do lots of fun things, and you should check out like our old videos and see if you like the stuff. And yes. uh, Again, we're here tonight uh, doing some baking for my holiday baking. We'll be here tomorrow night continuing it, and on the 23rd with uh, an episode of Dantix Trivia 2.0. Such a fun game show. So fun. When you're done, go to go to the channel here and just scroll through the game show and just, like, just, pencil, like, just push through the, the video real quick and see what you're getting yourself into. So much fun. And so if, fun. if you're brand new here, I am not, like, she's not, like, we're, I'm not Santa Claus. I just have, the, <laughs> I just have this on for fun because it's holiday time. I, you're not really Santa Claus. I like, I like, I, just, I like, there, there's a human under here. So, yeah, I'm not, don't, don't, I don't want you why, to think. Why is ALEXA over there talking about the package she delivered yesterday, bringing up the past? They're slow. You got know how that. that goes sometimes. That's already hidden in my closet. I think I want to switch to Google or something else. Oh, I, my God. I think me and ALEXA have, have just, like, it's not been working right lately. Eh. Anyway, okay. So you do that because, okay, pizza's going to be here in a little bit, but the cats are going to be like, ah, and they're going to need food, too. So at some point, I need to get the cats fed. Okay. Uh, Jesse says, question, Crystal. If I haven't been around for a while, am I new again? No, no, you're an old friend. No, you're still you're, good. You're an old friend. Yeah, Sorry, nice try. You still have your same parking spot. <laughs> um, okay, so we can't uh, Chris the says, stay tuned for Dan Juggles. Chris Friend. Oh, uh, I don't think there's anything for Dan to do. I don't think there's no. I don't have to get at it. I could do like one or two, and then it. You and then have it, juggling balls. And then it never gets, out. Yeah, it just well, no, it's illegal. But I just I sometimes it gets away from me. Um. Okay. All you right. you I'm, go I'll take back. five. Give, give me like five. I minutes. will hang out with all of you here uh, until our pizza comes. Chris, you can be on the lookout for the pizza. The pizza guy comes. You know this thing about these Domino apps. If you've ever ordered the Domino's app, sometimes I can't find where to get back to after I've seen. After I've seen, oh, there's the tracker. I was looking for this exact button here to see it. I don't have an extension. Just track my order. Oh, it's still. We're still on the prep stage, so we still we still have a minute. What pizza did you order? Uh, we ordered from Domino's. We just ordered Domino's. I got crystal cheese pizza, and we got like you know like the two topping coupon pizza. So it's like pepperoni and onion, or pepperoni and olives, or pepperoni and onions and pineapple on one because I got a bunch of pizzas. Chris is gonna flip. <laughs> Domino's, my dad likes our pizza. It's fast food pizza. It's okay. It's it's okay. We do have this uh, Captain Tony's up the street, which is like a locally pizza place, and they make like the really good ones. You know, the ones that look all crispy and burnt on top, and not like fast food pizza. But like, that's I have to go pick it up. So I was doing that. Uh, Dan, show the photo of the craft I made on. The RFS fam group, on my way, as you wish. You pay my taxes. 
All I can do is uh, that. Aw, oh, did you all, uh, were you all there for Jess's live stream earlier? That was so cute. Okay, let me see if I can find where you posted. There you are, I recognize your face. Look what I made as a gift for AJ's therapist for a holiday gift. Oh my gosh. Is that an ornament? Hold on, I have to turn down this brightness here because I have it blown out. My ring light died, so all the lighting's blown out in here. There we go. That's cute. Did you cut a hole in an ornament? Or is that a plastic ornament? Or is it glass and you just get cut and and bleed every time? Those were really only green M&Ms, but after you cut yourself, dip in your hand in the ornament, that's where all the red ones come from. Um, that is very cute. I like the bow. Did you use a hot glue gun? I use, I like hot glue guns. That's one thing that I haven't used enough in my life is a hot glue gun. Sure, they're messy and stringy and they hurt in a good way, but like, it's, it's, I think the hot glue guns are fun. I think this is fantastic. I think this is fantastic. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, approve that. Oh shoot, did I just hit deny? Oh, 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 okay. oh, oh. Well, I see, I see where we stand on the friendship chain, sorry. Oh, uh, that was good. That was good. Where are you? Why are you to claim your acolytes? Where are you to claim your acolytes? No, I want pizza, damn it. Why don't you get a MacGyver some? I would get like pieces of bread and put like like sauce on it. No TikTok pizza. <laughs> I put sauce on it and put it in the toaster oven and some cheese, you know? Quick and easy way to get pizza out of your system. Terry? For the record, I will never allow Dan to do that in my presence. I'm just saying. Oh, just toast with um, sauce and cheese on it is a good quick fix. That's not too bad. That's not TikTok-y. tiktok -y, I would have to, like, crunch up, like, flamey hot Cheetos on it. And then I'd have to be, like, Corvette, Corvette, and, like, all the Corvette, other Corvette. and all the other dances. <laughs> yes. You approved it. Oh, good. Good. I want a pineapple pizza now. You can't have mine. It's for me and my me. Oh, uh, Mark Rober released the glitter box video today. Fantastic. I cannot wait to watch that. Those are my favorite videos of his. That and the squirrel video. The plastic ornament that I filled with M&Ms that made the bow out of ribbon. Thank you for the... Uh, wait, it's a plastic ornament. Okay. Did you have to, like, uh, forge the hole in it? Or was it... Is it... Did it come like that? Um, I don't send glitter, right? Uh, it looked good. Good job. I think that's cute. Do Jess and Jamie camping pizza? Oh, well, they had the pie iron. When I went camping with Jess and Jamie, we got pizza up at in the UP up there. Uh, we got pizza from this little, like, it was like a little house. And, like, I'm so far away from home. And, like, we went up the road, and there ain't no, there's just, like, nobody there. Like, when I say nobody there, I mean, like, like, it's this little house, and it's dark. There ain't no street lights, And then inside the house, it's just a pizza place. And then, like, you get your pizza and go. So we got pizza when we were there. It was so good, too. But, like, where did the people, where do they go? Like, wh there's nowhere to go there. It's all dark, and it's just forest. But these witches in the house made these delicious pizzas when I was up there. If you go back, Dan, you know, you know what happened to Hansel and Gretel, right? Hansel and Gretel got chicken and waffles the next morning. Is Hansel and Gretel the one where they... The witch, is, the witch, the the witch got them? Okay. Got them with candy, though, and yeah. pizza. I could have been Hansel and Gretel there, but I was with a local. I was with Jess, so they didn't mess with Jess. Do we want to give the audience a preview of tomorrow's thumbnail? Do you actually have it? Send it to me. Let's see. Which one? Which video was that? I. It was a treat video. Yes, uh, there is a pinwheel treat video going up. It gone to the Snow Dogs tomorrow on this on her channel. Um, you're gonna want to check it out. I already sent it to you. All right, let's see tomorrow's thumbnail for the video. I did put this video together with my uh, with my own uh, fingertips of clicking. Oh yeah, that looks fantastic. Come on, look how good this is. This is gonna be dropping like I don't know by the time I wake up in the morning, so like eleven o'clock Eastern maybe or something like that or something like that. Let's see what Jess has to say here. You're up before eleven o'clock Eastern. Jess, what time is it it's supposed to be? Thing. Just consent. Uh, that looks cute. 10.45 Eastern, I've gone to the snow dogs. Yeah, that's, uh, that's cute stuff. I consent. Look at Steve. Steve's in. <laughs> Jess says, show Crystal, because see, I make two, okay. just for dogs. Oh, okay, here, I'll show it to Crystal. And... <laughs> Sorry, Steve posted a picture, and then I gotta show you guys. Uh, there's the pinwheels that she made. Oh, those look amazing. I know, they're so cute, aren't they? We should make some for people, too. People would be impressed. Peep wheels? Like, out of people? <laughs> for people. Not with people. Don't use real <laughs> girl, girl Scouts. Some with sugar and cinnamon. 
Uh, Steve, okay, so Steve sends me the picture and he says, huh, where the heck is the road? That's terrifying. This yeah. is why I live in Southern California. Yeah, he's out. Yeah, but it's not like he's, it's not like he's coming home from, any, he's going to a party. It's like, it, it, this is chosen. Like, he chose to, he chose to do it. Chosen uh, everybody wants to say hi to Steve, I'll, uh, screen. I'll send him a little picture. <laughs> just as the Oh, there's Steve. Yeah, there ah, he is Steve. there. Steve, hi, Steve. But we miss yeah, you. it looks like he's hitting hyperspeed just to go kick it. <laughs> no, thanks. I'm staying home. I'm staying home that day. Yeah? I'm staying home that day. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we literally canceled Thanksgiving and rescheduled it for the next day when it snowed. Uh, just as that Jamie said we have to make some for people, so next week when we make snacks for the holidays, we will do a people version. Yay. Yeah, that was a really good job. I like that. That uh, was good. Linda wants to know, what did your mom say when she saw all the crunchies? Oh, she was so excited. She didn't see all of them. I, well, I did send her a picture, and then I brought her one sleeve of them because she has to pace herself. And I do check her drawer. She keeps them in her drawer at work, and she does still have a couple in there because, you know, it's, it's candy season and cookie season and... All kinds of deliciousness season. So she's, you know, pacing herself a little bit. Um, but as soon as she runs out, I'm bringing her more. Don't you worry. Uh, we have we have a little tub here where we keep them in there. And then I will refill that when we run out. But uh, Terry is now a big Crunchy fan. Like, she has discovered the wonders of Crunchy Bars. I, so I had a, I had a I Sprouts version. But the Cadbury's version is just so much different. It's and, like, so much better. I got at Cost Plus World Market, they have... A version of it. I'm like, oh, yay, look, I'm going to get this. So disappointed. I think we threw away the rest of the bag. Like, didn't even want it at all. Um, I did get a package of cookies from my Aunt Terry. Those of you who have been here a while know that um, my Aunt Terry is the baker in the family that is not me. And, like, the my mom's generation. And she had a cookbook. She made a cookbook. Several of you guys bought her cookbook, sold out of the cookbook. She made it years ago. And... Some of the family got it, but not all the family, and they missed out because I knew she still had some and was like, hey guys, go buy them. And then I, I told her like, hey, did you sell out of your cookbooks? What's up? And she's like, oh my God, I was wondering where that came from. So I promoted her cookbook. She sold out of them. And then all of a sudden, you know, family came out of the woodworks who hadn't bought them for years. Like, I want a cookbook. Too late. My friends bought them already. Uh, she does holiday making just like I do, kind of, you know, my inspiration for let's bake a bunch of things. Uh, she makes her cookies and donates them to, I want to say it's like a homeless shelter nearby or something that like feeds the homeless and, and the people who can't afford like holiday meals and stuff. Um, so that's what she does with all her cookies. I did give my mom the rest of the sugar cookies because she only likes the sugar cookies. My family is Italian. My mom doesn't like Italian cookies. I don't even know who she is. Just She's wrong. Let me just tell you. Can, can you help me out with Scott real quick? Can you show the bar quickly on the screen? I'm going to a British food store. Oh, the so. Crunchy Bar. Oh, yes. Here. Okay. Yeah, here I got it. And uh, there you go quickly. <laughs> that camera's not even on yet. <laughs> <laughs> Super quickly. Epic. It's a Cadbury Crunchy Bar. So and it's a honeycomb or sea foam type candy. Um, similar to what we made tonight, actually, like the butterscotch bar, but a little different. Banana for scale. No, I have actual bananas. Bananas for scale. I don't know if that helps. They come in different sizes. Um, this is like the medium size because we've had smaller ones and we've had bigger ones. Um, you can get them out here. There are some like specialty candy stores that carry them, but they're a little harder to find. Um, apparently, they're just everywhere in England. So thank you, Linda, again yes, thank for sending you. all of those. So I took these to work to share with my mom, even though the package does not say her name. It says to Crystal, Dan, and Blake. Uh, and Jess, you definitely should try making baklava. Yes, absolutely. It was really easy. Um, I, I don't have her cookbook handy, so I don't know all the, the recipes. These are sort of like a Mexican wedding cookie, but they don't have the almond flavor that I like to have in a Mexican wedding cookie. Couldn't tell you what these are. Ladyfingers, I don't know. Um, some sort of almond something. Well, that one's broken. They look fun. <laughs> Yep. I love them. I love the Italian cookies. They're less sweet and they're drier, but they're amazing and I love them. But my that's... mom only likes the sugar cookies, so she got all the rest of the sugar cookies. Uh, uh, just as we made it before. That's right. I, I forgot because it. it sizzled when we poured the stuff on it. Uh, Yarly says, uh, Chen says, Happy holidays, Dan. Thank you. Happy holidays. No, she's just said happy holiday, just the one holiday. Oh, thank. Do I, I get the. Enjoy one do of it, them. Can I choose it? <laughs> yes. Can I save it for like New Year? Sure, if that's what you want oh, to yeah. do. Um, okay, I, I do have peanut butter cookies to make. Okay. Just the dough of okay. peanut butter cookies. Right. But do you want to cap first? Yes, because the cats need to eat before the pizza gets here. Okay, okay. so I'm going to switch the camera around here. 
I'm going to put the bowls over here to fill them up. We're going to feed our cats. They're they're a little crusty from lunch. And, That's fine. Uh, I don't want to put them over there where I'm going to be baking. Okay. I'm going to adjust some cameras here because it's time to feed our nine cats before we feed the four humans in the house. Take this over here and do some camera work real quick. I hope you all are having a great Friday night. Happy holidays. This year's going by so quick. And I'm in the house like every day, so the days just kind of tick by, but, but it sure has been a good year. I've, I've had so much fun this year of just existing. I don't know. It's been crazy, but, oh, oops. It's been crazy, but it's been super good. Aha. Uh -huh. You can always <coughs> tell when Kitty's ready to eat. Because she snuggles her food bowl. <laughs> Alright, I don't know how many, maybe we can get a bunch of, maybe we can get a bunch of them in the kitchen this time. Rizzo, it's happening, Riz. It is happening. Here she comes. She's like, oh, well, alright then. Uh, we have a can of food that was sponsored by Jody. Thank you, Jody. Thank you, Jody, for sponsoring our can of food. Mm-hmm. Cats will start showing up. Oh, I got to let them all out of Blake's room. They're all in Blake's room. Oh, yeah. You better get them, because they're going to start trying to climb under the door. Can you click the can or something? No, I already opened it. Okay. <laughs> Which is sniffing the air. They got the memo. Did they? <laughs> oh, there's Precy. Don't worry, the food is coming. Yeah? Come on, little boy. Come on, little boy cat. They're, they're all sitting. Just down off the cat tree. They're all sitting on Blake's bed, just peeking. Or, because it's, it's, uh, his electric blanket's on. Uh, hey, I need help. There's cats on the counter. Oh, I don't know. Cats everywhere. So many cats. I hope so you guys like cats because we've got a lot of them. There she is. Oh my goodness. Okay, this isn't the best cat. Maybe we're just going to walk around with it. Cat food smells so much less appetizing than the deliciousness I'm baking. Hi, little boy. He always comes and stands by my feet. When these I are our two little kittens that we don't have a names for yet. And the mom. And the mom. Name for. Yeah, so all of these showed up uh, two months ago. And then these are our OG cats. Yeah, Sunday will be two months yeah. since they've been here. There's Topo and Precious and Kumiko. Okay, so the babies have to eat first because they will steal food. <laughs> you guys come this way. Yeah, you can breed them. Yeah, the, the babies eat over here. Oh, there's one, there's two, and there's Mama. All right, all right, I'm coming, I'm coming. It's so hard not to lock up this camera and move it too much. And that was Kamiko, this is Precious, and Topo, and Rizzo, and Mooch didn't get up. Do you need delivery yeah, no, tonight? Mooch needs delivery. Old man Mooch is cold, it's winter time. He's on winter hours. Hi, baby girl. And Kitty stays in the bedroom so she gets her food delivered as well. There we go. A catastrophe of cats. It's a clowder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But those are that's our little cat family minus two cats off screen. Hamooch is down here eating. And is, oh no, I guess he's not on the screen. Uh, here, okay. Hamooch is down there eating and oh, Kumiko's over there. Shall we open our package? Uh, yeah, just just a second. Okay. Let's get them. Uh, that's it to me. There's just cat food all over the place on the ground too. It's it's uh, what happened? It is madness here <laughs> every day with having so many little uh, floor walkers. Yeah. Name the boy kitty Fred and the girl Wilma. Um, my grandpa and my uncle are named Fred, so no, can't do a Fred. I I, I don't do people names. Uh, Afriel suggesting you nuke Mooch's warming toy now while he's eating. Yeah, you want to do it real quick? You like rip? Yeah. Just go ahead and put it on the counter. I gotta wash it off anyway. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks, Dan. Mm hmm. Here, can you take your glasses? Thanks. Hey, Dan. Yeah. What do you call a Christmas wreath made out of $100 bills? Uh, I don't know. What do you call a Christmas wreath made out of $100 bills? Aretha Franklin's. 
<laughs> I haven't heard that one either. He's 30 seconds, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Amanda says, crazy that you can split one can of food between nine cats. Yeah, we get the five and a half ounce cans. Um, or we do two three ounce cans. Uh, usually it's enough. They get it two to three times a day, depending on what they're doing with their lives. Sometimes they just sleep through lunch and we're not oh, trying to wake them up. They so. do have some dry food. Yes, they do get dry food, but yeah, the, the one ninth of a can is plenty. Who is this from, Dan? Was this from Laura? I believe so, yes. He does snuggle this. I don't know if Laura's here, but he does snuggle this little unicorn thing they, they, constantly. The little boy has been hanging do. out up here as well, and he he snuggles it. Hey, you still have food. What are you hey, doing? Topo got thieved, but that's his buddy, but... Okay, let's put you down on the ground, then. Much. Now your delicious bacon smells gone. And it smells it is. Like, it just smells like cat food. It smells like cat food. Or name them Thing 1 and Thing 2. They do get called that a lot. We really need to settle on names soon. Little terrors, little raptors, terror 1, terror 2. Like now. Christine says, that's a lot of cats. That's a <laughs> yes, lot of, it is. Seriously, it's a lot of cats. It's a lot of litter box emptying. Like, literally our food bill, like, doubled. It was weird. I mean, we it increased our cats by 50%. Yeah, so it's... It, uh... But we love our cats... Some people have uh, RVs and live luxurious lives. We, uh, we, we have a lot of cats. We live in a trailer and uh, spend our money on cats. Are we going till 8? I think we're going long, friend. I still have another recipe to do. Um, I'm just going to make the peanut butter cookies. We're not going to bake them tonight. So I will make those. We'll eat some pizza. Uh, <laughs> Christine says I still like Kevin for yeah. the boy. Um, uh, Bad juju with the name Kevin in our circle. So no, Kevin's not see, happening. See, when I hear it, it's named after that guy. all I hear is, Kevin! <laughs> so you can only call him that. He's too sweet to be a Kevin anyways. Topo is so good with the babies. Look at him. He's like standing over him like, okay, you can eat the food. Him and, well, both of them, he snuggles both of them, but him and the little boy, especially the last week or so, have been bathing each other a lot. They'll snuggle up next to each other and simultaneously bathe each other, and it's pretty freaking adorable. What do you need? Lay on your bed. And then now cats have been fed. Is the party ending? Just the cat party. We're still here hanging out. Yeah, like I said, I still have more cookies to make. Kamiko's growling. Topo, there's more food in this bowl. See, look, the, cat, the can of food goes nine ways, but some of them don't finish their food, and then the other ones go and scrounge and eat it. Alec is here. Hello, Alec. Hi, Crystal and Dan. I became a member but used the wrong account, so we'll redo it next month on this YouTube account. Sorry, no worries, friend, and thank you for the support, and I'm glad to see you. It's been a minute. Yeah. I hope you're doing well. Um, you can't see it, but right now, the cats are finishing dinner. There's uh, actually just three of them on camera. Um, we made some butterscotch. For the butterscotch squares, we're going to dip in. <laughs> it's a blind guy moment. <laughs> no worries. No worries at all. Uh, the butterscotch squares are cooked and cooling. We're going to make some peanut butter cookie dough for our cookies that are going to be a Snickers bar wrapped in peanut butter cookie. And dude, check it out. I'm dressed as Santa. He can't check it out. He's blind. Hear me out. Describe I'm dressed it. as Santa. <laughs> he um, has a sweater on. Only a little jolly. That looks like a Santa outfit, but it's really just a sweater and a Santa hat. And uh, a bowl full of jelly. Yeah. <laughs> can I have the not kitchen scissors? Yes, you can have. Um, I don't know who sent this to us because it is delivered to RFS cats. Maybe on the inside. Um, from Petco. Been listening since you f fed kitties. Uh, Alex says no ducking way, Dan. Very rad. This is to write whoever sent this stuff on it. So. Gotcha. It is a Santa Claus. This should be my face and Santa Claus, which I look like. People. <laughs> uh, I said Petco, PJ said where the pets go. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, it's the good stuff. Let's see if it says who it is from. Petco doesn't do gift messages apparently. 
Oh, this is from Laura. Oh, yay. <laughs> she said build to RFS and then her last name. Oh, I, <laughs> I love, love it. it. I love it. Thank you so much. We'll put her name on the snacks. It will. So when we issue snacks, we won't issue snacks now because once she's not here, it's, it's, it's way past her bedtime, I'm sure. And uh, that way, when we get snacks out, I'm always talking about who it's from. Yes. So yes, if even you, when we're not on camera, you are welcome um, to send snacks to the cats. That is perfectly fine. We recommend here. Can I show you how the bag is Missy? We recommend that you write your name on the bag down if, low so it doesn't tear off when we open it. But if you drop ship them up to us, we will write your name on the bag. So thank you so much, and all the other cans of cat food and stuff. So thank you yes. so much. Uh, those are some blue buffalo ones. I yeah. don't know if they've had that particular flavor and variety and everything um we'll save them for maybe the new year's eve stream we'll bring a because floral will probably be here i just assume you know <laughs> you her doing? plans are with us this year yeah, absolutely um and then we'll, where else we'll could she have to be uh-huh all right peanut butter cookies dan i am done with the laptop all right this one is in the cookbook i did see someone earlier say this is why we need a cookbook from crystal dan has been bugging me about that since like day one of uh, having a live stream cooking show? I think now that we're already three years into this full-time stuff, I think instead, not maybe instead of a calendar, but like before we do another calendar next year, it should be a cookbook. A, a cookbook. It should be a cookbook. <sighs> it, it would take me a lot of time. I would probably, look, I opened right up to it. How long but just a little bit at a time, but I think so. Um, cause you I would have to work on it all year to lay things out and get photos. and. <laughs> It'd be so fun. Maybe. Maybe. It's, it's, it's getting closer than ever before. Yes. Closer than ever before. And look, I do have a cookbook. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys have recipes you love, I highly recommend this. Can you find this on, uh, on Amazon? Yeah, post you want the link real, real quick? quick? Yeah, post I, the link. I was happy when I was in Michigan that, cause I sent, we sent one to Jess. Yes. And I uh, used it. Nice. Yeah. Um, this is a blank cookbook. Wait, I'll find some blank appetizers i don't make a whole lot of those uh desserts is almost filled up i'm gonna have to make more sections called desserts because that's mostly what i make but it's a blank cookbook for me to write all my favorite recipes in because i know a lot of people do like where you print out the recipe and put it in a binder or something it it gets messy this is amazing i love this just as i do i make a recipe two to three times before i add it it has to pass the test absolutely i don't write just anything in my cookbook but there are some things that i have made once and i'm like that's going in the cookbook that's amazing it's going in uh what was the last thing i added in here let's see i think i added it out of order because i had the butterscotch blondie gooey bars that went in the cookbook after i actually made two batches in like a week that went in the cookbook those were amazing if you guys missed that episode go check that out they were delicious. Um, the Butterscotch Squares made it in. I could have used my cookbook. I didn't even need the laptop. Lots and lots of really good stuff in here. Uh, but right now we're going to do peanut butter stickers filled cookies. But we're just making the peanut butter cookie part of things. <laughs> Much like um, most other cookies. There, Dan put that in the chat if you guys want to add that to your Amazon wish list. I highly recommend it. Um, hopefully you have nice writing. Otherwise, it's going to look really messy. Is my refried beans in there, Joel? What is oh, up? I love your what refried is beans. Up? I've never had more talk about refried beans than when I eat your refried beans. <laughs> They're so good. It's like candy bean. I don't know how to They're do They're really it. good. It's so good. Really good. And hi, Joel. Um, yeah, we were talking about you earlier. We must have said your name three times and, and your ears were burning because mm -hmm. uh, my, my RFS Cats Crystal Funko Pop is over there on the counter showing off how cool I am that I have a friend who made me a Funko Pop. Yes. These, this... Butter has been cooling for like four hours and it's not really that soft. Um, but yes, your bean recipe will go in there. I just, I very rarely find the time. And then I think I wrote the uh, butterscotch squares so that I could not have to pull up the recipe on the internet. And then I forgot I did that. It's okay. A lot happened in the beginning of the show. Hi, Joel. And I hope you get your press pass that you were uh, going for. Do you... And I miss you, Joel. I hope you're doing well. Do you remember one time that I wanted to go to Comic-Con? So I wrote that we were a comic... <laughs> I wrote to Comic-Con that we were a comic book... Uh, a comic book news site that was just launching called Comic Book Quarterly. <laughs> and we too. worked at a... Yeah, uh, like a screen print shop. So we just made some shirts that said CBQ on them. <laughs> and they sent me press passes and everything. They did. And I got to go and like walk around. And like walk, and I have like this really bad like 2006, 2005 or 2006 
like HP camera, you know, the ones that like, please don't move for 10 seconds, you know? <laughs> and like, and so I have my press pass, everybody's got real cameras on, and I'm like up there in the front trying to take pictures of Kevin Smith, and every single Kevin Smith picture was blurry. <laughs> um, me and Lou, it's me, Lou for it was okay, it was Lou Ferrigno, me, and uh, uh, and Lifefield, you know, from X Factor. Like all next to each other? Uh, th they were all, uh, like, because you had to get lunch at the same spot as everybody else did, you know? But, like, I was so out of, my, I was so out of my place, so I hope you have a great, I hope you have, like, a great adventure. I still have the shirt. We do, we've saved it we forever. Still, we like, still, that, yeah. that's a memory. I'm like, I'm going. I popped in a Mentos, and we got two tickets <laughs> to go, did. and we went and for free amazing. and stuff. And yeah, this was, a. Uh, yeah, like 2005 or 2000, like 2005, I think yeah. it was. Yeah. All right, let I, me get my ingredients out so that I have everything ready to go. The butter, the peanut butter, the light brown sugar. I need regular sugar. I need two eggs. Do you know that despite the fact that I'm using 16 sticks of butter this weekend in my holiday baking, only a dozen eggs. I really thought it was going to be more than that, and I was kind of scared because eggs have gone up in price quite Dude, a bit I can't lately. afford to egg anybody's house anymore. No, you cannot. sent us recipes with their Christmas cards. I love you guys. That's amazing. You guys do not have to feel obligated to send a recipe, but if you want to send me a recipe, that's fun. I like that. You know what was cool too this year? Pete, you all started drawing in the cards. You know <laughs> yeah, how I it's all dance style? You? you all started drawing in the cards, and it's great since I draw, you know, really poorly stick figure. I, I would be an artist in the hieroglyphic times, barely. Uh, but uh, thank you for drawing in the cards. It makes me laugh. So. My well, butter's not very creamy, Dan. No, oh, I was supposed to like. Megan says, that's why I have my own chickens, so that way I don't have to buy eggs. I don't think we're allowed to have chickens here. It's, it's pretty hot and cold for them. Like, I don't think they do very well. That's amazing. I don't I don't know if I can tolerate chickens. You have the bugs too. You won't have bugs around your house. And no more cake Good to know. Mooch's just sitting there producing always. Like he's here for the cream cheese and butter in case there's any that I need to have taste tested. The butter's not very creamy. I'm sorry. It should be fine. I'm not too worried about it. When I was at Jess's mom's house, I played with their chickens. Oh, you were there. Remember I yes. played with the chickens? They were so fun. They're so pretty. Okay, to this we're going to add a cup of peanut butter. I think this might be our peanut butter from last year's baking, because we don't use creamy peanut butter except for baking. No. No, my sandwiches are usually chunky, not creamy. Yes. That's how I like them. Joel says, I need to make Chex Party Mix for tomorrow's holiday cooking making at Diana's. Oh, how fun and exciting. I just holiday cookie make at my house by myself. Guys having a holiday cookie party? Yeah. Aww. She didn't invite me. No, she didn't. Guess we're not really friends. The pizza went from deliver on its way to back in the oven. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't done. It's raw. Maybe they dropped it on the floor on the way out and had to start over. Yeah, you've done that before. I cried. I literally cried. The butter's getting fluffy. Uh, Jessica Mueller wants to know, Dan, are you going to Mania next year? No, okay, hold on. Who said that? Jessica Mueller. Jessica, so I looked up WrestleMania tickets. Did you see the price of Mania tickets? It's like ridiculous. Okay, here's okay, here's what really happened. 
Do you remember, Crystal, when I turned into Vince McMahon and I said, Crystal, I'm going to WrestleMania, and I started Hogan posing and And you stuff tried to like talk that. me into going. And myself, and I was like, I'm going. No one's going to stop me. It, it, it's in L.A. I'm going to get a ticket. I'm going to go to WrestleMania, because like, I've always wanted to go to WrestleMania. And then I saw it was like $300 for like some nosebleeds, and then like all of a sudden I uh, Don't didn't want to go to WrestleMania. WrestleMania I have Peacock. I'll watch it. I'll watch it there. It's but probably a better view anyway. For, for a minute, I set my ALEXA to remind me. Um, I was flexing around the house. I was oh man, it was great. And then so like now I'm not going to WrestleMania. Are you? Are you going? They are crazy expensive. I'm working on. At, I'm working the show plus Raw after. Are you? Oh, awesome. Um, I could try for a SmackDown or a Raw. Are, are those taped live on Friday and Monday? Or are they taped the day before? I think they're just live live. Um, I could try to go to a Raw or a SmackDown that Friday or Monday between WrestleMania. They're going to have to be taped before that, right? Uh, but I can't... I, I don't want to spend the money on the ticket for not... It's not that fun. Like, it's not that fun. Uh, Alex says, I, lo I love listening to you cook and bake, but I have so many food allergies I can't make any of them. I do eat dark chocolate, though. Um, I'm learning to like dark chocolate. Yeah? I'm, I'm starting to come around a little bit. Not so much by itself, but, like, with another flavor. You know, I can, I can do it with some caramel or something. Um, Scott says, Crystal, can you find peanut butter there? It's scarce over on this side of the mountain. We've not had a problem with peanut butter yet, but thanks for jinxing, jinxing us, because I'm sure now we will. <laughs> it's been random, like, weird things here and there that all of a sudden you just can't find it. It's not in any stores. It's been cat food for a while. We've been having to order that online. Yeah, it's been hard to find cat food. Uh, Hannah with the super chat, thank you so much, says, don't forget about the bowl scraper I sent you. I use it all the time. I, I do forget on the show sometimes because I'm just so, oh, I'm running my mouth and talking. Yep, that's what I said. Oh, the, wow. That rubbery thing that you use? Yeah, the uh, black yeah, and that white comes, thing. Yeah, that's I, handy. I use that quite uh -huh. a bit. Um, I, It won't fit in here, but I will use it. I, I will pull it out as soon as I'm done here, and I will use it when I have to take this out of the kitchen bowl. Jessica says, I've been working with WWE for a couple years now. It's amazing. I'm a graphic designer and photographer. I seem think I think I've seen some of your pictures. I think that's super cool that you do that. But I would love to like go to one of the shows, but I just I just don't want to like and then I'll be by myself, which is fine. I like I don't know. I might have to like Yeah. Russell. Yeah? Russell's Harry likes Russell. Russell's expensive. Like you guys get all hyped about it together. I'm it's, just fun. Like, what it's fun. It's fun. Yeah, it's fun, but I don't know. I mean, for that money, I you know I could order like two pizzas, and then we could watch it on the screen in HD. Uh, Doris says dark chocolate with sea salt is good, only if there's caramel involved. Chris has some dark chocolate with red wine. He's like magic. Quality. I bet that's chocolate. a good. I bet that's a good pairing. Megan. All right, so in here I've got a cup of butter and a cup of peanut butter. I'm gonna add a cup of brown sugar and a cup of sugar to this. So I need to wash my measuring cup out. Uh, Megan says, I have a big old jar of peanut butter. A picture won't justify on how huge it is. We, for a while, were buying, uh, we do super chunk. I love it as chunky as you can make it. I want it crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. And we had the big giant, like, not quite like Costco industrial size, but like the big, big one because we were going through it for a while. We haven't been eating too much peanut butter and jelly lately. <laughs> Afriel says, my mom used to drink chocolate wine she got it at Safeway slash Vons I've had a chocolate wine before but it was like thick and syrupy and left your mouth all sticky and it was not good and I've heard that there's different types and maybe we just had like a cheap version but I was unimpressed this way. I'm just trying to get all the butter off the bottom so it can incorporate better. And we got some butter left on here. Alex says, I have a dairy allergy, so vegan dark chocolate with a sprinkle of sea salt. Oh man, I feel so bad for all you guys with allergies. Um, I think I mentioned it a week or two ago that I made some acai tea and my mouth itched like so bad. I might be allergic to acai. That's I don't what know. happens when I was drinking Fruitopia. That's yeah? That's what happens when I eat kiwis. 
Yeah, I, I would be so sad if I was allergic to, like, dairy or things that made me not be able to eat the de deliciousness that I love. I'm not really very good at giving up things that I like. This tracky dab sucks. Tony's allegedly outside with my pizza. With my pie. He's at somebody else's house. But yeah, some, some other Santa's getting it. Now I've just made a mess. Peanut butter's so sticky and messy. <laughs> It'll get better once I add the sugars to it. Can you smell the butter, Mooch? Joel says, I made some cookies a while ago and I froze some so I can pull them out to bake when I want. I hear that's a thing. Nothing ever lasts that long in my house. Also, my freezer is full of meat. All right, a cup of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. <laughs> Tia Matt says, the regal face behind the mixer. I can't. <laughs> He's just grumping. He wants to know where his serving is. I don't know what you're talking about, but Megan sent me a text right now. Of her peanut butter? And it's just five pounds of peanut butter. Oh my gosh. Hey. But it's creamy. Ew. I'm trying to empty out the last of this brown sugar because I refilled it before I had emptied it. And the two brown sugars were different colors and that kind of weirded me out. Not gonna lie. It smells so peanut buttery. And Dora says to tell Mooch he didn't finish his dinner, no dessert for him. It's true, he didn't. I'd rather him not finish it though than gorge and puke. Let's be real. The peanut butter smells so good right now. It really does. Because mm -hmm. it's peanut butter and butter. So it's like extra rich right. peanut butter. Right. Hi, everybody. That needs a wave. Everybody always needs a wave from you. Uh, Tia Matt only prefers creamy peanut butter. I like it for some things. I like this. I, I would like it. I like my apples and stuff, but chunky mm -hmm. works as well. Super chunky all the time. And I put chips in my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's the way to live. It is. Sour cream and onion lays. It's the only way to go. <laughs> Patty says, my son just made a peanut butter smoothie, so I smell peanut butter too. Now with smell vision I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it before, but when I was like 10 and I watched the Rose Parade, they were like, in like five years, we're going to have smell vision oh, when we right. watch the Rose Parade. We've never had smell vision Disappointed. Uh, Jessica says, how old is Mooch? Mooch is a little over 15 years old. He turned 15 this year. He is a grumpy old man. And don't get in his way because he will let you know that he is unhappy about what you're doing. Cyber Husky says, that's not a real Dan Wave. Real Dan Waves use both hands away. That's only when I'm, like, really happy. <laughs> that's only when he sees you. Oh, here come all the, the creamy peanut butter defenders. Oh, look at you, your sass. <laughs> I'm full of sass. Have you met me? That's my middle name. Oh, yeah, uh, these yeah. trackers are crazy. Now Tony's pulling up right now. Right now? I thought he was already here. Amanda was going to make cookies this afternoon with AJ since he had a half day of school. He started winter break today. He was not in the mood to make cookies, so I did not push it. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Look, at least he's still young enough to want to make cookies with you sometimes. Did you guys see the video Dan posted where Blake used to make cookies with me? Blake doesn't make cookies with me anymore. He's too cool. Sometimes he'll eat my cookies. Most of the time, he's uninterested in anything we're doing. <laughs> he's in there chilling. Look at Afriel trying to keep the peace. Both peanut butters have their Aww. charm. Aww. <laughs> you, you can't have the chunky without the creamy. And this brown sugar is a third color of brown. There is no pizza. It's only lies. Hey, hey, what are you, whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Do you need a sip? Okay, come, come on through. This happens sometimes because Mooch is old and you can't tell him no. Tony's about to go on the naughty list. <laughs> I think Tony already made his way to the naughty list. All right, let me make sure it's cold. This okay. is a of, of patterned old behavior. Yeah, I think Mooch uh, demands the sink water. Uh, Robin, if you're lagging, refresh the stream. It's on YouTube's end. Our end looks fine. 
Cyber Husky says, my house is oddly quiet tonight. We are boarding the dogs tonight since we have a lot of family stuff this weekend. Aw, I'm sad for you. I'm sure that's what's best for your dogs, but I'm sad for you in a house full of pets. It's weird. Like, even when I go somewhere, I don't like to stay in a hotel. I get a good night's sleep. Let me point that out. But, like, where's my cats? I have nobody to snuggle me. Even when I go to my brother's house, he has cats. But they don't really snuggle, especially not while you sleep. So it's quite disappointing to not, like, be around my pets. So I feel for you. Are you going to fight Tony when he gets here? No, because with a name like Tony, I'm sure he can kick my butt. You know Jason had pizza tonight, and he texted me earlier while I was still at work, because he's in Illinois, so it's two hours later. Man, don't order pizza when you're super hungry, because then when it's late, you get really mad and you want to punch the pizza guy because he's not here yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm okay. Are you, though? I'm glad I ordered it when we did, though. Mooch gets thirsty being the ex executive producer. He does. It's yeah. a lot of hard work to be in charge around yeah. here. This is See, good. Brittany gets me. I need cat snuggles to sleep. Yeah, it's just weird not to have a cat around. Okay, then to this we are going to add our eggs and vanilla. Are you done yet? dictators. They overthrow my space all the time. Sadly, they are all passed on. Oh, I'm sorry. I hate not having pets. Like, I, I, I can't even think of a time in my life when I did not own pets. But the flip side of that is this morning I woke up and Kumiko had scarfed me. Like, she was fully across my throat. Apparently she thought that was the warmest spot. I felt like I was dying a little bit. I was just out here with my warm blanket and my warm body all by myself. Are you all done? Go on, bud. Back to your spot. Keep it moving. No, stupid. Keep it moving. We'll shake it off over there. Uh, Martha says, my three cats are snuggling me right now. It is the best life. All right, and then we need to add some vanilla. And we're going to do two teaspoons of that. Oh my gosh, I wish Tony would have been like five minutes later. <laughs> my cat has to be in her kennel at night. She learned how to take her diaper off, so no more bed. Your cat wears a diaper? I mean, I'm sure there's a medical reason for that, but your cat wears a diaper? Oh my gosh, they cut my pizza. <laughs> they screwed up? It's not even a cut. Uh, Brittany says the three months before I had my cats in my apartment was hell. My mental health was the lowest. Now I'm in bed snuggling my two girls. When my brother first moved to Illinois, he did not have any cats. And because of, you know, where they live, it's cold. Apparently, when you're not in Southern California, you're not as inclined to just find cats as often as we do. Um, if you guys don't know, all of our cats are rescues that have just showed up um, at our house, aside from one I rescued from my brother. And um, not that he, like wasn't taking care of it. He had too many cats. He had to get rid of it. And one I rescued from my work, but they've all been just outside cat rescues. And you just open the door and there's a cat there. You, you can watch our vlogs. You can see exactly how it happens. Open door, cat. <laughs> totally. Damn it, we got more cats. <laughs> Couple's a good example. Um, so Jason moved out there and had no cats and lived for, I don't know how long, for quite a while with no cats and then finally had to go pay money and adopt cats because apparently that's how some people get their cats. Not just by opening the door. <laughs> Didn't know that was a thing. The Cyber Husky says, yeah, I'm looking forward to not having to fight for space on the bed and not have to get up early to give meds, but also no one to share my snacks with or even talk to. That's the thing. Oh yeah, you'll get a good night's sleep, but who's gonna snuggle you? Sure, you have a husband, but it's not the same. It's not. All right. Oh. I need pizza. <laughs> Crystal, Hannah said that's how normal people get cats, Crystal. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
how we strays or somebody we knew whose cat had kittens, and now we have cats. Look at my tiniest slice of pizza ever right here. This one right here, it's so tiny. Someone at Domino's needs to be retrained on how to cut pizza, because the last few times we've gotten it, there's been not correct slicing. The and it's not cut all the way mine's through. Mine's not cut either. Is it meaty? Probably. Ew. Did we all get our own pizza? Uh-huh. Did they not cut them? Oh, um, it's cut, but look at my tiniest slice ever. Yeah, because it's gonna have to like, like we'll be here tomorrow and it's, like it's gonna have to last us. But yes. <laughs> That's not even a little <laughs> slice. It doesn't even go to the center of the pizza. And look, nope. the guy gave us so many toppings. Ooh. By the way, okay. you guys like Blake's haircut? I did it. I have oh. a tiny slice too. Oh, oh yeah. You do. Terry cut Blake's hair because she's a professional hair. Hairy, then, like, like, hair. Do you recut it properly or do you just follow the lines? I'm That's the right answer. answer. I think you just like take the little slice. You know it sticks, right? How do we tell them, it's, like, uh, not in a jerk way, like, someone needs to be retrained on how to cut pizza? Because you guys are doing it wrong. I'll have it. You're a you're a, you're a hair aware. You're a, a, you're a, a, Are you using real words? He, he's happening. trying to remember the word for what it is that I do, my profession, what it's called, that I cut hair. It's called estrogen. No, estrogen, est estrogen. <laughs> no. I mean, I have estrogen too, but that's not what I do. If you guys aren't eating your pizza, Crushed first, you're doing it wrong. No, you're doing but it yes, right. But yes, Terry uh, you are cut Blake's it hair. It looks super good. <laughs> it does. I thought you were going to go for a hairatologist. <laughs> no. Oh, I figured you were going to take that with you. Definitely. Okay, yeah. Terry's going to pizza there for you. Joel said Dan's having a stroke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, it left like me, it. and I could feel it. I could feel it right there. Like, you know how, like, Kylo Ren in the beginning? I'm scared. It was like I that. Open, can I open the cabinet? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. You're about to get your pieces stood on. No, fine. It's okay. Crystal? Hmm. No. no, I have to make my pizza dough. I was just going to eat my tiniest slice ever first. It's so small. Tony totally drove around the neighborhood with that pizza something? for a while. My tiniest slice ever wow. wasn't even cut. A plate. It was just, it was perforated. Also, I have to cut. <laughs> look at that. Like I'm telling you, look, that's how I mine showed up too. I slices. <laughs> I remember when you were in like third grade and they were like, put all plate? these bags and throw all over them. <laughs> shape. You said mini? That's it is basically the parallelograms that told me to make a circle. Yeah, it sort of ended up with a circle, but... <laughs> look at it, look at it. There's plenty of sauces. Up. They gave me a bunch of sauce, including frosting. All right! The <laughs> cutest frosting. smallest slice. Jessica, you have a good night, too. Thanks for hanging out. All right. Crystal, you have to look at how they cut my pizza. I don't know if I'm going to follow the line. Oh, we're going to have one slice. Hard, but it's like not the pizza. The pizza. Wait, there's this line here. They made. Do you have a triangle They're in the middle? Yes. <laughs> I have a center <laughs> slice. Someone really does not have a slice pizza. Sli center slice. What? I have a middle that piece. That is. <laughs> Stone how Domino's how worker be cutting pizza all ghetto. Uh-huh. Who's that? Alec. Where's the peppers? Yay, happy Friday night, turning. everybody! Keep turning. Yahoo! Keep turning. So, yeah, everything's all kind of rearranged. We all have pizza. Ooh. Careful. Okay. Do it, Terry, get it. I was making cookies once upon a time. Your was in it. <laughs> Keep an eye on the mooch. Don't worry, the box is closed. I think we're good for it. now. Mm -hmm. He definitely needs a bite of cheese, though. Like, someone needs to help rub out. All right. We need to mix together our dry ingredients. You guys can see, this is already very full. We are somehow going to add three and a half cups of flour to this. Very carefully. Oh, I got that mesh all wet already. Yay! It's pizzas for everybody. Yay! That's exciting. Much stealing pizza Cause, always. Cause we always want more pizza. <laughs> PJ, is this what happens when you move to Vermont? What PJ say? Uh, thank you for the super chat, friend. By the Hi, way, PJ. still here drinking maple syrup from the bottle. <laughs> Hey, no way, dude. You guys do that on, Lego? on another note, has everyone finished Wednesday yet? Yes, and it was really good. Wednesday was fun. I'd watch it again. You know, me and Jess were talking about that today or yesterday on the phone. It was fun. We also started Lego Masters Season 3. Yes, we are two episodes in. Fun as well. One. Uh, uh, uh. Did Blake run off with the ranch? Mm, I don't think so, but maybe. It sounds like something he'd do. Let me see if I, I can say so. that. That's okay. Please. I will run it down. How's the pizza, Crystal? Really? Didn't you overflow that last time you made these cookies? I have not made these on the show yet. Can I have some bread? Um, but that's entirely possible. There's still 120 people here. Oh, yay. Two. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I'm happy. 
Because you have pizza mm -hmm. and there's cookies happening. Yeah, and there's cookies. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, Hannah posted a photo on RFS Cats. I'm a little busy, but I will get to that. I don't think Dan has access to that. Uh, mm, 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 mm. I don't let him be in charge of that. Mm -hmm. There's so many messages that pop up, I just don't answer any of them. <laughs> um, we watched Gremlins the other day, and Crystal and I have probably haven't watched Gremlins in a long time. And the you know, Bo Bridges or whatever goes into the shop to get the Mogwai and breeds them home. And the Mogwai's got all these rules that Crystal can identify with. <laughs> and yes. so first of all, the dude brings home the Mogwai and is just like, I don't know what this is, it's a Magwai. And it, right away it's got attitudes like Mogwai! Like it's already correcting the dude, right? <laughs> then like it, and then the dude tries to take a photo of it. It's like no bright lights, no bright lights. And Crystal hates bright lights. I do. Then it's like, then it like doesn't want to get wet. And Crystal, like, if I were to like squirt water on Crystal, she would like not be happy. It's true. But yeah. It's so it's just true. all these things that the gremlins are. I'm basically a gremlin. Basically um, a gremlin. By the way, I see Afriel called Mooch the Counter gargoyle. I actually learned a fun fact. It's only a gargoyle if it shoots out water. If it does not shoot water out, like the things on the end of the building. It's a gremlin. Am I a gargoyle? Only if you shoot out water. But Mooch is actually a gremlin right now, since we're talking about gremlins. Uh, Linda says, careful you don't shock yourself again. This one has rubber handles. I think I might be good. Uh, so it's three and a half cups of flour. I've added two so far, but to that I am sifting in a teaspoon of baking soda and a half a teaspoon of salt, if using unsalted butter, which I did. So we'll sift that in, and then we have another cup and a half of flour to add to this. Alex says, Crystal is my twin. I hate light and being wet. Really, though. I love a good hot shower, yeah, but, like, aside from being in the shower, I don't want to be uh, wet. Loud noises, too. It was like, no loud noises. Yeah, I, I don't like loud noises. They really, like... You know what's weird? Like, I don't know if this happens to everybody or if it's just a me thing. If I'm even remotely tired, I can tell, like, I need to go to bed. Noise, like, makes me vibrate. Like, I feel it physically of, like, oh, like, my my cells are vibrating and I can't deal with, like, loud noises. It's a physical thing. I'm just done. Oh. You you just shut off. And until I don't. And then I'm like, oh, back on again. But, yeah, I feel like, like, almost like I'm getting shocked kind of feeling if if I'm tired and there's noises. Even if I'm, like, laying in bed already and I hear noise. Three, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, Um. It, it makes my skin crawl and tingle. So Joel says, no eating after midnight then for Crystal? Uh, I don't know about that one. I definitely eat after midnight. <laughs> I eat the most after midnight. I do my best baking after midnight. Uh, Marco says, noise is good to sleep to. Nope. I cannot have any noise. It has to be silent. Um, if the dishwasher has to be started at night, it needs to be started like on the four hour delay. So there's not noise while I'm sleeping. I, I can't deal with anything. Dan sleeps with headphones in with a podcast on, and sometimes it's too loud coming from his headphones, and I have to be like, can you turn that down a little bit? Because I can't, I can't sleep to noise. We used to have a TV in the bedroom, and Dan likes to fall asleep to noise, so we'd put the TV on, and Dan would fall asleep, and I would just lay there awake like, is he asleep enough that I could shut it off now? And then i shut it off, and he'd wake up, so we'd turn it back on. <sighs> Alex says, I hate noise. I'm so much like you, Crystal. I have a sensory meltdown. Yeah, as, if there's too much auditory stimulation, I, I need to leave. I can't deal with that at all. Big crowds and, like, conventions and stuff where there's just so much noise coming at you, uh-uh, can't deal with it. Apparently, I've used up all my half cups, so for a half cup, we're going to do two quarter cups. Crystal. Dan. I need help. Uh -oh. We I know that. I spilled some sauce on my Santa bush. Well, oh, why would you do eat. that? Why would you eat in your Santa bush? I should have turned it backwards. It's not even washable, Dan. I can't even see it. <clears throat> like my eyes don't. My right. eyes don't see that part of my Hold body. Hold on. Don't move, Dan. Thank you. That feels good. Uh, can you do white noise? There you I, go. No. My, my earbud things have white noise built in them, and it sounds like it's raining. And if I put those in and turn on the noise canceling, and it rains in my ears, it'll turn off my brain, and then uh, and then I can sleep for a while. And then I wake up with raining in my ears the next day from it, you know, all night long, and a message from Apple saying that you have too high a volume. <laughs> uh, white noise but especially makes my skin crawl. It makes me like tingly feeling, and I don't like that. 
Put me in a dark, quiet, cool room, and I'm in heaven. Also, Santa Bush is hilarious. Marco didn't see you do this. Uh, yeah, he did. He said, here comes the wash question. Oh, man. my God. There, I just washed it. it was like, now there's a white we spot. We hand washed it, right? That's the cleanest it will ever be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We bought it at Walmart. What do you want? Oh, by the way, that is some awesome sifting there. You like that? That's almost sand drift to sift. Good job. All right, now I need to carefully put it in here without causing a flower catastrophe. Can I move you more this way? Thanks. I guess so, Dan. Oh my god, I just want more pizza, but I have to make my cookie dough. I know, and I'm. Oh, yeah, did you get bites? I ate like half my pizza, okay, so I gotta try to make my You can't, because I have to add this, and I have to do it on this side, but I will rotate it back once I add the stuff. Oh, it's fine. I'll just squeeze on in here. Swoop. Look at us. We're right there. Okay, I just have to be careful because. No, you have to back up now. Because it's already full, and it's going to want to fluff out. I do have the cover for it, but I never use it. Oh, we're good. Poof. Poofed. It did poof. Uh, Joel says, I need to get a sifter. Joel, I recommend just a mesh strainer, a fine mesh strainer. Yeah, we have Because it's sifter. easier to just tap it. Um, the sifter, it's fine. Like, you do this, and it sifts out. But, like, this motion is not good for my, my wrist and hands. And they're so hard to clean. Um, Apparently, you're not supposed to get them wet, but how do you clean it? Come the on. sifter, the way you did it, seemed to work out better. Yes. E I, I like it better. Even the sifting looked a little bit finer than the sifter machine. I agree. But they are neat, though. It's a neat contraption. I'm just not the biggest fan. Alan says, I sleep with my fan on sometimes. We have a ceiling fan on every night. I'd rather be under blankets than to not have a I ceiling just, fan on. Crystal has a ceiling fan on, and I lay there and go. <laughs> I don't like stale air. <sighs> I'm when pretty I get up particular in the morning, I think about I how I, I sleep. Cough dust. <sighs> my throat's so dry. <sighs> um, our fan makes a slight clicking noise. We actually replaced the old fan because it made a louder than slightly clicking noise, and we tried to put some oil in it, and it didn't fix it. And I'm like, we just need a new fan. I'm done. And this one clicks too. You're louder than the fan. How do you? How can you? Because when I'm snoring, I'm sleeping, and I don't hear the fan, or me. I should probably check for sleep apnea though, because I don't remember the last time I had a good night's sleep. Yeah, the other night you stopped breathing. I was gonna think about starting to wake you up, but then like a minute later you came to. A whole minute, Dan. Uh, I don't know. After like 1,000 like Thanks, 50, I stopped counting. 1,050? Wow. I was going to let you go to 100, and then I was going to wake you up. So let's cut out. He's choking on something, Crystal. You don't have to react for 50 seconds at least. Oh, I don't, ch I don't choke. That goes right down. <laughs> That's what she said. I'm a, I, I purr in my sleep. So this gets really thick, and it gets really sticky, and it's very full. It does. It's almost oatmeal-y so, looking. Yeah, I have to hand mix at the end, because I just can't... I. I I can't do it. So what do we do with this stuff? We put it in the fridge and then it becomes cookie. Tomorrow. We will put it in the fridge to let it... So, talked about it before. I've been kind of trying to learn how to be a better baker without like, you know, really getting good at it. I'm not trying to make super fancy things and stuff, but I want some tips and tricks. And apparently, cookie dough, like... I don't remember what word they used. Um, Whatever it does, like, when you refrigerate it overnight, it, like, helps all the stuff to blend together better. And what was the word they used? I want to say bloom, but I don't think that's the word mm. I'm looking for. But all the stuff just, like, coagulates better or something. And then the cookie, <clears throat> excuse me, the cookie dough itself will cook better. Um, so those of you who are making my chocolate chip cookies this year, if you can refrigerate that dough overnight, they will cook so much better. They do. Uh, Marco says, I stopped breathing in my sleep. Now I have to use a machine when I sleep. Yeah, I'm how pretty are, sure I need one of those. How are those? Is it like on TV where it's like really invasive and like it's a big old machine that's all See, like See, that's the thing. I know they're pretty noisy. Maybe technology these days is not so bad, but they're pretty noisy and uh, I hate noise when I'm sleeping. So I'm not sure if that would even help me to, I mean, it would help me while I was sleeping. But I'm not sure how much that would help me, like, fall asleep. You might have to wait until I fall asleep and then put it on my face. Um, you can see I've made quite a mess here. Did you forget Crystal's tea? Yeah, now it's going to have to be later because you're going to want to eat food and Yeah, I need stuff. pizza. I'm really hungry. Oh, you want me to, like, 
airplane. No, I'm, I'm just about done here, and then I'm gonna. I might have to actually uh, air fry it up a little bit because it was kind of cold when I had my tiniest slice ever. Yeah. Yeah, Tony drove around the neighborhood for sure. Tony was so happy. He looked <laughs> just like Tony. He was all Goldbergish from like the. He and he was like really short, and he was like a belly, and he was leaning back. So he was, and I was like, hey, and he's like, hey. I don't know if you heard. I don't know if you heard us. Wait, I, well, I don't know if they could hear you. I could hear you. I was like Tony. Afriel says CPAP slash BiPAPs are quieter now than they were 10 years ago, but are they silent? Because I like silence. That's, that's, they don't even put silence on their, um, um, their pamphlet. It's quieter than before. Yeah. You're like, oh my gosh. Uh, remember the one time the Domino's pizza dude showed up and I had moonshine cherries? <laughs> and he ate And a- we encouraged drinking and driving? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he didn't eat it. <laughs> no. Not at all. Uh, Brittany says the primary reason for a brief resting period to, is to redistribute the liquid in the dough. While the dough sits, turning from loose to soft to drier and more scoopable, the flour is hydrating, yielding cookies that will bake and brown more evenly. What she said, and this is why you're my intern. I love you, Brittany. Uh, Doris says, I think I'm going to go to bed and enjoy your pizza. I think that'll be tomorrow night's pizza. Have a good night. Come back tomorrow night for more of this. We're going to do this again tomorrow yes. night. We're not going to have a game show tomorrow. Chris isn't going to bake anymore because she has to bake all weekend for her bake off. <laughs> um, so that's what we'll be. That's what we'll be doing. So these cookies in particular, if you guys want to make these uh, Snickers filled peanut butter cookies, do not skip the refrigerating. Um, most recipes say like three to four hours or overnight. I usually do overnight. These will go in the fridge. I'll make them tomorrow. If you do not refrigerate this dough, the cookie will come out flat with a square of Snickers in it. You do not want that. It's ugly. It's extra crispy. It's not what you want. Are we turning yellow? We are. Did you change the lighting? No. Wait, the camera's camera? doing what it wants to. No. Okay. Anyway, keep going. No one told me I turned yellow. Um, so you guys will see when I make these tomorrow, how when you refrigerate them, it comes out like a, a perfect little round ball on the top, and it's perfect. Apparently, lots of you guys uh, CPAP. Um, I saw somebody said, uh, I can't scroll up, but somebody said there's a new thing that you don't have to have a machine on your face. Well, how is it going to get you? I don't know. Uh, You can set your sleep machine for a more quiet start and then you can ramp it up in like 10 or 15 minutes. That's cute that you think I fall asleep in 10 or 15 minutes. (laughs) Takes much longer than that, but that is good to know. Then it will make more noise after you've had time to fall asleep. There's no silent ones. Okay, but that's good to know. That's a really good thing. Um, I'm very concerned. I'm sure you guys can tell me. To, in order to get one, you have to do like a sleep study thing, right? Like you have to go somewhere and like sleep so they can be like, yeah, you need one. Because I can't like sleep in places like that. That's not a thing. Alex says, I started on CPAP as a toddler. Then I ended up getting a trach tube and ventilator. My vent is so quiet, people think it's not even on. I was born with, with muscular dystrophy. My blindness is unrelated. Hmm. Just, just luck of the draw there, huh? I have no mouse. Um, yeah, I might have to. Oh, Brittany says I did my sleep study at home. Marco says they send you the sleep study. Okay, good to know. Patty, I'm with you. It takes me like two hours and 500 flips and turns to fall asleep. Yes. Me too. Absolutely. Good to know. I'm, I'm really glad to hear that they can do that at home. I'm more confident in thinking like that's something that I could do. They made anybody. Jeff go do it at at a place. Did he? Dad had to do one um, after the license fiasco and stuff. He had to go to a place and fall asleep. I could not fall asleep in any sort of like clinical. No, you're gonna have to knock me out. Give me some anesthesia and then that like negates the thing. Alright. Now it's time for you to bag it up till tomorrow? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's a lot. It's gonna have to go in this big one. Are you done with the mixer tonight? I am, but oh, it's, it's really filthy. It is filthy. I'm not touching yeah, it. Yeah, sorry. You can't do nope. anything with that You're yet. fine. All right, so this is just going to go in here. Oh, it looks so fun. Like, I'm trying to do math and figure out if I can get a smaller one because I'm going to need the fridge space. I could, may I, When you pour it in there, may I have like a little like chunky thing that falls off? <laughs> just a little. Marco says it connects to a probe on your chest that connects to a weird watch. That sounds fun. Okay. Mm, oh, my gosh. Athena says, I have three different types of apnea. Oh my gosh. That's like two levels past Freddy. So like, you don't have a good night's sleep ever either, huh? Nobody had sleep apnea (laughs) on Nightmare on Elm Street. I remember hearing my dad sleep. My dad snored so loud and hearing the... Like, as he like, struggled to breathe and woke woke himself up. And I imagine that's probably what I do. I... I, Can I... 
It was That's fewer so cookies. It was so the good. more you eat now, the fewer cookies you get How later. How much does this expand, though? By a lot? Was yeah. that a whole cookie? Well, maybe. Mm. You'll find out tomorrow mm. when you have fewer cookies. Brittany says it looks like Play-Doh that you can eat without getting sick. It kind of does. It is kind of Play-Doh consistent. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that, because when I was down the Play-Doh aisle... All the Play-Doh now smells like hamburgers and pizza and chocolate. Does and it like, really? Yeah. You Weird. get ice cream things and you can make your ice cream and it smells like it, but you can't eat it. It's not toxic, but... That doesn't seem very safe for they most children. Yeah, I thought they weren't allowed to make them I don't know if this like lid's going to fit on it, but we'll try. You did it. There we go. Oh my gosh. That is Peanut butter cookie dough. That is solid. It is so heavy. That is <laughs> like so solid. Like I can't solid. hold it with one hand at all. That is so solid. Wow. I'm sorry. We changed colors. Yeah, I don't know what you did there. I just, it's just seeing, you know, it could be like a lot of red. It, 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 I'm red, and the mixture's red. I'm and red. And there's a lot of red, and you're red. So I don't know if it just tripped out or or what. Afriel says, uh, late hub hubby's breathing would stop for minutes at a time when sleeping. I got used to listening in my sleep and waking up and nudging him. Yeah, I'm starting to like have to be that way with you a little bit. Yeah, or, yeah. it's definitely gotten worse. My sleep is terrible. Like, you'll, you'll I'll be snoring and then nothing for a minute and then nothing for like, not a minute and then I'll like uh -uh, and then you'll like <laughs> pop that clutch and then there you go. Gasp again. for air. But that's yeah. something that like runs in your family. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So. There's definitely I should probably a design look into that. Flaw. But I, like I said, I am glad to hear that they can do a sleep study at home, and that makes me more confident in uh, talking to my doctor about it and seeing if I can get that uh, checked out. Chris does the sleep breathing struggles. If I fall asleep before him, I'm good. If I fall asleep after him, I have a harder time sleeping knowing he was not breathing correctly. Yeah, I just sleep through it, so I don't know. Dude, you got a lemon. I and mean, he's just oh, busting his head. But he's funny. It he's... balances out. Well, I don't know anymore after he smacked his head. <laughs> and, yeah, it was he was time. actually arguably funnier on Wednesday. Is it like that where they put the crayon back in Homer Simpson's nose? to like, <laughs> yes. and he was too funny, or he was, too, and then they pulled it back down a little bit. Like that's perfect. Yes, I know. Uh, Brittany says try a night guard at night. My doctor told me I should get one for my apnea. Oh, I need one of those for grinding my teeth. My dentist tells me that. Don't sleep on your back. It helps. I'm a stomach oh. sleeper with my hand over under the pillow, like smashed, and I sleep. On my stomach like that with one leg up. I can only nuts. fall asleep on my and back. That's me. Um, I can't sleep on my chest. <laughs> like that's physically impossible. I would need too many pillows. Um, I can only fall asleep on my back, and in my sleep I always roll onto my right side and I wake up with shoulder pain all the time. Like my body does not want to lay on its side at all. It's not comfortable, even with like on a nice squishy mattress. So yeah, I can't not sleep on my back. I will not fall asleep at all. If I try like, oh I'm gonna try to sleep on my side, I'm like snuggling Dan. Can't do it. I have to roll onto my back to fall asleep. Yeah, me too. Dude. Yeah, that's that's it. Are you guys done? Uh, just about. Yeah, we are. Think, we are done. I think we are just this, about. This done is there. everything we have for yeah. tonight. I have a couple more cookie doughs I'm gonna make, but um, I need to have a break and like go eat some food and we gotta do this tomorrow. Down. We have to do this tomorrow. Yes. Um, not only that, I'm doing this all day tomorrow. I will get up in the morning and I will start making cookie dough first thing in the morning. We will be live again tomorrow at 6 p.m. Pacific where I'm going to yes. stuff Snickers inside this peanut butter cookie dough and show you guys how amazing these cookies turn out. Yeah, we'll out. be able to taste some stuff and eat some stuff then, yes. huh, as yes. well. Yes, I'm making oh. the almond roca cookies tomorrow, and that's a quick one. That's a quick shortbread um, chocolate, melted chocolate over the top, and almonds. Super easy recipe. You guys will love that. It's, it's kind of a misleading name because it's almond roca. But it's only almond roca because it's chocolate and almonds. It's, it's really a shortbread it's underneath. It's just delicious. It's y amazing. You said after the stream was over earlier before we were streaming that you were going to make other stuff for tomorrow. That's what that was? This is for tomorrow. No, this was planned for tonight. Okay, so um, after the stream's over, you still have more stuff to do. Yes, dinner. after I eat, I'm going to make some... I have to do some dishes because I'm out of measuring things. i got to clean my mixer. Um, I think I'm going to make the chocolate chip cookie dough and probably the salted caramel... Or the salted brownie cookie and, and it, it, it'll, and That'll take you pretty much as long as it took for you to do this. Yes. Yeah, I'll just make those. I'm not baking anything tonight. Uh -huh. Baking is happening tomorrow. I'm trying really hard to like not... Because when you push this little button down here... Yeah, don't do that. It lets the air out, and I just want to push a little like stream of no, dough out. Probably would. It probably absolutely would. Yes. Uh, Amanda says, I did not get a lemon. He got a lemon. I've had a total of seven to eight surgeries since we've been together. I've been sick with colds and crap for a lot of the time, too. You do get sick a lot. Your body kind of hates you, huh? You're always, like, sick and hospitalized. So, yeah, you both got lemons. Remember I posted a photo at RFS Cats? Yes, yes. before you go, let's do that. Where's my phone? Bye, Joel. Have a good night. Bye, Joel. Well, thanks everybody to that hunt out. Thanks for the super chats and the chat chats. There's still 111 people here. If you're new, hello. 
I'm telling you, subscribe. We have such fun here. Yeah, the community will tell you. There was a lot of people who were already here when you got here. Those are the people that already know how much uh, have a good time we have. Yes. If you don't suck, then stay. Um, <laughs> and have a good time with us. And we'll be back again tomorrow. And it'll be a lot of fun. If you follow our social medias, I saw somebody trickled into my Instagram account. Uh, we I go live on Instagram sometimes. Sometimes we post uh, pictures of the cats or whatever's going on here. So if you want to be connected to our lives... Huh? You do, huh? You do. So connected. You do. Look, um, look. One of us. One Join of us. us. You won't yeah. regret it. So yeah, we're a, we're a lot of fun. And I know Jess. And don't you want to like know the person that knows Jess? <laughs> <laughs> Is the RFS Cats here or somewhere else? Um, If you want to see the most RFS Cats activity, go to Instagram. Yes. Um, If you don't have an Instagram, we do have an RFS Cats group on Facebook. Uh, that, I always forget to post there, but all of the community posts their animals, and I love it, and, um, memes and stuff. Can I get this camera for a minute? Sure, uh, Instagram um, is live, though. That's where, that's where you see daily yes, pictures. I post a picture every single day, mostly taken by Dan, but every single day I do post a picture on the RFS Cats Instagram. Yeah, usually when you're laying in bed at night. Yes, <laughs> that's, that's my last thing I do before bed. If you don't go to, uh, if you don't use Instagram or Facebook, there is an RFS Cats YouTube channel, we just don't really post no, it I haven't anymore. posted it over a year. I would just use the, yeah, I would just Thank you, Brittany, Instagram. so much Thank for you. the Facebook link and the Instagram link to RFS Cats. Appreciate you. But RFS Cats on Instagram is where there is the most action. Yes. Uh, Dantix 2.0 is awesome. It, it is. is. It's been so On the 23rd, fun. you guys, set yourselves a reminder. To tell your A-L-E-X-A to remind you mm -hmm. on the 23rd to come join us. And check out Hannah's cat. She says, am I dying in my sleep tonight? This way. This way a little more. There you go. I think your cat is plotting to kill you. Oh, that's so Maybe. cute. You're a big cat. And sometimes people post memes in there, like Brittany posted this one, where the vet suggested a shirt instead of a cone for my cat. Fun fact, most cats wear baby sizes zero to three months. Oh my gosh, they do. The <laughs> cat looks very much better dressed than me. So go follow RFS Cats on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Um, if you go to the community tab on YouTube right here, you can see the calendar. Every month, at the beginning of the month, we post a calendar so you guys can see what we're doing when. We do live streams Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday nights at 6 p.m. Pacific time. Do the math if you're not on the West Coast. If you're East Coast, it's 9 p.m. three hours later. Um, other than that, you have to do your math because I, I don't know stuff and things. Uh, Illinois, well, Chicago area is 8 o'clock. I can tell you that Bye, much. everybody. I got to run um, <laughs> yes. Uh, go follow RFS Family uh, on Facebook as well. There's lots of stuff going on over there. We also post what we're doing there. We post links to the YouTube. Um, and most of our community hangs out there and chats with each other. This is a really awesome community with a bunch of really cool people. So like Dan said, if you're cool people, join us. Come hang out. We do the stuff and the things. And we're really friendly and nice most of the time. Thanks for hanging out with me while I baked tonight, guys. I will catch up with you guys tomorrow at 6 p.m. where we're finishing off this recipe, making some new ones, and I'll show you what I had been up to since I saw you last. Bye, guys. Have a good, good night. night. everybody.